Hello, hello. Happy Monday, and we are back with A Song of Horror, which is, of course, another spooky game in our month of spooky streams. Here we go. Hello, Krayson. How are you doing tonight? Ready for more spooky? Very nice. Me too. Um, hope you had a good weekend. Um, yeah, I chose this game because basically um, I've never played it before, but I did a little bit of research on it, and it sort of seems like there's um, episodes that are released as DLC that you can get. So if we play the first episode and we really like it and we're interested in seeing what happens next, we can get more dlc and and keep playing the story or if like we try it and we don't like it we can always switch it up and try something else but um so it's sort of like a spooky game with puzzles and all that kind of stuff so i thought it fit perfectly with um what we've been doing so far this month so um so yeah so i'm looking forward to seeing what all this is about um are the episodes the continuation of the same story or are they self-contained with different characters? Um, I believe that they are uh, different stories, um, but you apparently with this game, there's a whole thing with characters and character development stuff. So if you have surviving characters from episode one, for example, you can bring them into episode two, three, and four, and five, um, as long as they survive. Um, or you can just do story mode, in which case you don't have to worry about anybody, uh, anybody permadeathing. Um, which is another thing I read about, uh, that there's a permadeath feature in this game, and I know that that's kind of like, it seems to be what the developers wanted for this game, to have a permadeath thing. But I figured, um, for the stream, we would do story mode, um, so we don't have to worry about, uh, having to watch the same stuff over and over and over again, if I die. I mean, when I die. So same protagonists, but kind of a monster of the week format. Yeah, that sort of seems that sort of seems to be the case. Um, again, I don't know. That's just that's just what I've what I read about it. It seems to be that way. So, so I don't know. So we're just gonna we're just gonna find out. Um, but let's just jump right into this. So again, this is my first time playing. Um, so any uh, help for puzzles or for whatever else we might encounter is uh, greatly appreciated. Um, and let's just do this thing. And again, let me know if um backseat gaming. Yes. <laughs> let me know if the volume is ever out of control because I had a little trouble getting the desktop audio to not be overpowering. Music box, very nice. Oh, it doesn't look very nice, actually. Someone doesn't like the music box. <laughs> Recommend using headphones and a controller for a more immersive experience? I'm using mouse and keyboard. Don't tell me what to do. Permadeath would be a good way to get new viewers caught up, though. <laughs> yeah. Controller for more immersion. I guess. I don't know. I'm doing mouse and keyboard. Um, I don't have enough USB ports for that. Maybe by vibration functionality? Oh, maybe. Daniel's apartment. Hmm. Home sweet home. Oh my goodness. We are wriggling about. This is gonna be interesting. That. He's looking at a picture. Those bring back some really good memories. And the lights on and off. That. My old flashlight. It saved me more than once in the great outdoors. Okay. Can I use the bathroom? 
Man, the toilet drain stinks as usual. Poor Daniel. My 80s vinyl collection. Maybe next month I'll be able to afford a shelf to put them in. It looks like he's doing pretty well. Sophie, it's taken me years to put those pictures out again. Who's Sophie, I wonder? A box packed with random stuff. My apartment is definitely too small. I don't want I wonder where he's living. Sebastian B. Husher. Husher? The historical fiction author. He sold four million copies of his last last novel. Telephone. It's actually a nice afternoon. The kind my boss likes to fuck up with one of his stupid errands. Okay. Seems to be all I can look at here. In here. Um, my apartment is small? I'm confused. What is that? Oh, lights, okay. Oh, wow, lots of stuff in here. Okay, what's over here? I plan to spend my Sunday on this couch listening to jazz. Okay. My videotape collection. I've got quite a few westerns and cop movies. Can't wait to see the next X-Files episode. <laughs> all right. I should sell that old thing once and for all. Your bike? You want to sell your bike? Plant? Damn, I closed the curtains again. I'll end up killing this poor plant. Can I eat this pizza? Not the greatest pizza I've had, but it hit the spot. Oh wait, there's stuff over here. Wait, did I look at that? Ooh. Apparently, I, apparently I did. Shit, I could have sworn I took out the trash. This guy's a mess. Some leftover mm -hmm. coffee, not my drug of choice on a Friday evening. Okay. Squeaky clean dishes, nice. Not really hungry, plus I didn't get any groceries this week. Daniel sounds more picky than he should be. Uh, agreed. Um. He's like equal parts mess and equal parts like snobby about his mess. Um, I don't know what I'm... where... Hey Daniel, not the best protagonist, but I guess he'll do for an indie Seriously. horror game. <laughs> but the telly? Not the telly. The telly's the TV. Alright, what do we got? Who's Hello. it gonna be? Daniel, it's me, Etienne. Hey, we've got a bit of a major emergency going. Joking. Friday evening, and there's an emergency? This is serious business. Sebastian Husher is nowhere to be found, and his manuscript should have been at the office by Tuesday. He won't answer his calls, and he hasn't shown up at his office at the university. He's vanished into thin air. Oh, don't screw with me, Etienne. Call him on Monday or send a courier for him. I, I just got in the door less than five minutes ago. I go myself, but I've got to attend Albert's performance in half an hour. Plus... Usher's house is closer to your place than it is to mine. Come on, man. The sooner you go, the sooner you'll get back home. You're going to owe me a big fat favor. Whatever you want. Write this down. 4 Abbott Thomas Road. In the old housing development along Highway EB-15. EB-15? Good God, that's out in the sticks. I plan to take a few days off after this. Well, we'll talk about that once you find him. Oh. And if he gives you the manuscript, don't show it to anyone. And don't go selling it off to the highest bidder. I'll see what I can do. I'll ring you up when I get back. 
Thanks, Dad. <laughs> You're saving my skin. It is Friday. Why am I acting like I don't have the whole weekend off after this? Again. Another Friday evening and I'm working as an errand boy. I suppose they're too important over at Wake Publishers to come looking for jolly old Hush themselves. Shit. Even I should be too important for that. I mustn't ever stretch my complaints. Rising from my lot as a drunkard and financial ruin to that of an errand boy is actually quite an improvement. There's something not very Drunk protagonist story, about this guy. Or I'd got on the wagon a bit sooner. Damn, Sophie did the right thing when she divorced me. I would have divorced myself in her place. Daniel Neuer, the bloody alcoholic. Chin up, you. That is Daniel Neuer, the bloody ex-alcoholic, after all. Wake Publishers employee by day, Wake Publishers screwed up a lackey by evening. Even Friday evenings. This is like a villain origin gosh, story. I have a feeling my status at the company would rise quite a bit. After all, he is the publishing firm's biggest star. You don't think alcoholism works that way? No. Hope he's home. The Husher Mansion is a large 19th century colonial house property of Sebastian B. Husher, acclaimed professor and historical fiction author. The character's personal item has a... Oh, those are just like hot tips, I guess? Okay. <laughs> There's a bus stop right in front of his house? Gotta suck. Or be really convenient, depending on how you look at it. Uh oh. Uh. A tricycle. I didn't know Husher had kids. Oh my gosh. I blocked the bus stop. <laughs> uh oh. Why take the side door when I can take the main one right there? Well, all right, Daniel, all right. Daniel's getting a ticket. I don't think Daniel cares. What is that? How do I... Can't look at that. Maybe it's farther up? A newspaper. The, that murderer they arrested about a week ago is on the front page. Oh, that makes me feel great. Music? Music? I'd better take a look. <laughs> I'd better take a look. There's music playing. Light source. Each character has their own light source. To turn it off and on, press F, okay? Once it's on, you can choose the direction in which you want to point the light. To do so, use, like, mouse directions, okay? This will allow you to illuminate specific areas and also help you interact with objects that might not be right in front of your character. Your light source will never run out. Use it as much as you need. You wonder if we're about to learn why they recommend the controller? Ooh! Is that someone playing a music box? It's not too bad. Kind of wiggling around like that. It's not bad. Okay. What's that? The alarm seems disabled. Much better. If it goes off, we'll have a lot of explaining to do. Not really. I mean, you were asked by your boss to go look for the author. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of it. There's a lot of clothes. Is there anyone home? The clock marks 12. Yes, it needs fixing. Travel guides. Okay. Usher is in a lot of these framed pictures. The rest must be family, I guess. Those paintings are depressing. <laughs> I'd never put them up in my place. Daniel's a bit opinionated. 
That's weird. What are all those suitcases doing here? And your apartment is depressing. True. What a beauty. Must sound like an angel. I thought the music was coming from in here. Look at all those bottles, and to think they almost ruined my life. Interesting, like, uh, perspective here of moving around. This plant is barely alive, if at all. When was the last time they watered it? I- isn't- aren't my plants dying? History and art magazines. I've got nothing against them, but I bet they'd bore me to death. That deer's head is almost as big as I am. All of these books were written by Husher. They must be first editions. Nice. So many people in the house, it's no wonder no one ever answered. With so many people in the house, it's no wonder no one ever answered Etienne's calls? Does that make sense? That makes no sense. <laughs> yeah, uh... Unless he's being sarcastic. Yeah, right, okay. Decorative fruit, the expensive porcelain kind. I guess they don't want anyone to think they're poor. <laughs> Books and plates in the same cabinet? Not much order there. The table is set but covered in dust. Where is everybody? What's this? A letter? Documents and items. You have found an examinable item. Inspect it to gain information by pressing E. To examine the backside, use the mouse. You can access your inventory and collect documents at any time by pressing I and J. Dear Sebastian, how are you? To be completely honest... Wait, did I just do that? There we go. I must admit that we are all impa impatiently awaiting your latest work. My dear friend, I must ask a favor of you. Enclosed with this letter, you will find one of the latest items we have purchased at the store, an ornate music box with fascinating engravings. The craftsmanship is astonishing, but something else has caught my eye. Or perhaps I should say ear. The melody, Sebastian. It's peculiar. You have to listen for yourself. I'd never heard the song before, and my attempts at finding the score, or the name of the composer, have failed. I cannot for the life of me get that melody out of my head. Uh-oh. Postamp on August 1st, 1998. This is pre-answering machines? Yeah. Though if this is the early 1980s, it wouldn't make sense for him to talk about his 80s vinyl collection. Right. Well, 1998? Maybe it's like 2000? Or maybe it's 1999? Would you be willing to help me find any clues regarding this box and its mysterious melody? I would be forever grateful. With the warmest of wishes, Isaac Farber. Yes, I've also enclosed the little information I managed to find about said box. Okay. How do I, uh... Interesting. Okay. I feel like I'm getting closer and closer to the sound, but I'm not sure. Man, that mirror is dirty. Family portraits, I guess. They look old. Let us go in here. Uh, they're all covered in dusk. dust. Dust. <laughs> this place hasn't been cleaned in days. 
Cabinet? Did I miss a cabinet? Wait, what's that? A matchbox. Can't think of any reasons to burn the house down yet. Did I look in the large one in the last room? You know? I don't know. Large cabinet. Uh. Oh, this big cabinet here? The books and the plates in the same cabinet? I did. Yeah. Okay. Um. I feel like it's in one of these rooms here. Did I miss it? So loud. Perhaps in here? No. Do you think it's above me? What the? Oh, <laughs> I think I found it. How can there be a door there? Oh boy. Classical music album on the record player. Is there just a wall? Yeah, there's a wall on the other side. There's stuff lying all over the place. It reminds me of my college dorm. You mean it reminds you of your apartment, Daniel? This radio has to be older than me, and are those rifles real? This guy likes to hunt. Sophie would have had a fit if she saw this. Well? Should I open this crazy door that makes no sense? Blast in the music box. The music. Well... I'd hardly taken a step forward. When I heard the door close behind me, Gigi. <laughs> when I turned around, actually, the door wasn't there anymore. Uh oh. And all that was left of it was a strange shadow on the wall. I searched. I despaired. And I screamed until my throat began to burn. The candles started to run out, as did the batteries in my torch. From within the most suffocating darkness, the hours went by. Until turning into days. Oh no. And I began to fall in and out of a restless sleep. I would hear voices. Sometimes right next to me. Other times a few yards away. It seemed like they were coming from the other side of the wall. Desperate cries. Howling in horror. And sometimes the worst of all. Vast, oppressive silence would fall, seeming to emanate from everywhere and nowhere all at once. There was nobody there, just hallucinations, nightmares, black nothingness, and a song from that music box. Trapped in this impossible place, I wondered going to die there did i did i fail <laughs> did i fail already oh three days later etienne do you have any news on daniel yet oh sophie no we've been calling him at home all day but there's no response is sophie my divorced a mobile phone? wife no I don't think so, and if he does, he doesn't tend to keep it on him. Oh, man. I think I should pass by the Husher place when I leave, just to see if they know anything. Husher the writer? Your client? Yeah. I sent Daniel over there on Friday, and I haven't heard from him since. What's the address? 
I'm going to stop by Daniel's place, and if I don't find him, I can go around and ask about him. The house on the outskirts of town, on Highway EB-15. Number four, Abbott Thomas Road. Didn't she ask for it's Daniel's house? house? Okay, I'm headed over. Call me if you find him. Uh, of course, same to you. Did I fail? Did I die? Oh. <laughs> like there's only one. Why is there a bus stop there? Yeah, I don't know. Sophie Van Denent, age 40, light source candle. Life has put Sophie to the test many times, but she always pulls through. It was thanks to this resilience that she summoned the strength to put an end to put and end to her failing marriage with Daniel. Sophie, who runs a well-known art gallery, is now enjoying the ever-elusive prosperity she has always longed for. Must be nice, Sophie. So it looks like these are her stats here. She's, like, fast, I guess, and stealthy. Not very strong. And she seems very calm. Scented candles. Whenever I light one, everyone around me... Everything around me feels safer and more peaceful. Oh! Oh! I can choose! Etienne Bertrand, age 45, light source, lighter. Etienne, a confident self-made man, is sales manager at Wake Publishing, making him Daniel's direct supervisor. In his role as personal assistant, Daniel has become somewhat of an errand boy, but Etienne is slowly giving him greater responsibilities. Although they love to complain about working together, they have grown fond of each other, developing a friendship outside of work that neither of them like to admit. Looks like he's also fast, not as stealthy, he's really strong, and he's probably calm. With greater responsibilities come... wait. He has a note folder. Writing down anything important is the secret to remembering. Oh! Alexander Laskin, age 59, light source candle. Alexander and his wife, Masha, are housekeepers at writer Sebastian B. Husher's mansion. Oh! Watching over the author's children is one of their many household duties. The Russian couple of Christian faith moved to Europe in the early eight, in the early 80s in attempt to de, in an bleh, in an attempt to flee from a mysterious past that Alexander rarely if ever speaks about. So he's not as fast as either of the previous two. He seems very stealthy, super crazy strong, and he's not very calm. He does not have very high serenity. He's close to bonkers. Yeah. <laughs> He has a metal hip flask. Take a good swig from the flask to soothe your nerves when danger lurks. Always worked for me. Oh! Alina Ramos, age 32. She got a flashlight. Alina is a passionate, hands down type, hands down type of learner. Always eager to get her hands dirty at work. Happy and energetic, she's traveled the world with her sister in search of a better life for them both. Hands down, I don't get it either. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, so she's uh, happy and energetic. She's traveled the world with her sister in search of a better life for them both. Now working as an electrical technician at Monolith Security, Alina is part of a highly qualified tech support team repairing high-end home security systems for exclusive clients. She's super fast, super stealthy. She's strong. She has low serenity as well. She's got a walkie-talkie doesn't work very well, it picks up a lot of weird interference. She's a hands-down type of worker. Mm -hmm. who, do, who should we play? Sophie seems pretty well-rounded, I think. Mm -hmm. um, but I also hate to... Uh, Sophie seems to be a good choice. Yeah, Sophie and... Uh, Sophie and Etienne seem pretty good. Stats-wise, we're just talking stats, but... Um, yeah, let's do Sophie. I am I hope I didn't, like, lose Daniel. 
Like, I hope, I hope I did wasn't supposed to go in that door. Because it does seem pretty dumb to, like, go into a strange door with, like, black goo coming out of it. Like, I wouldn't go in that door. Maybe I shouldn't have done it. Maybe I should have looked around the house. You think it's supposed to happen? Hey. A candle in 1998. A tricycle. It's wet and beginning to rust. Must have been here for days. There's a story written around it. True. A newspaper that's been through a storm. I can hardly read a word. You think if two people have gone missing around this house that they would call the police? The door was open. Is there anybody home? The clock is turn of the century. Just lovely. But the time isn't set properly. Books in the, foy in the foyer? You won't find me complaining. She's already so much more likable. <laughs> Damn you. A burglar alarm. How modern. A moat with crocodiles would be more fitting in this house. Oats hum hung up. Somebody must be home then. The observations are much more positive. Yeah. I guess I can't open that door. Can I open this door? Nope. I probably shouldn't try to throw all my characters down that door. If I find it again. Tears in the Wind by Liam Edelman. It's lovely, melancholy, and has... <laughs> what did that guy say? Macarb... Macabre? <laughs> Macabre touches. Um, born on Macabre. God, I've started to think the same way I talk to clients. I started to think the same way I talk to clients about works of art. Markarb? Markarb? What was it? <laughs> Markarb. Packed suitcases. They're everywhere. But were they arriving or departing? I'm hearing a lot of creaky sounds. Uh, the garage? An old bicycle, a tad broken down, but it's still pretty. I love motorcycles, but I've never mustered- I've never mustered the courage to drive one, especially with Daniel telling me how dangerous they are. Boiler functioning, upper panel. Shut down. Press the left button. Start. Press the central button. Emptying, press the right button. In case of malfunction, preventing correct boiler functioning, you can perform an emergency shutdown by keeping the blue button pressed for four seconds. I'm scared. Can I even do uh -huh. it? Here's the boiler. It's receiving no electricity like the rest of the house. Oh boy. I'm sure that won't be relevant. <laughs> uh, should I write this down? Should I just leave it? I don't know. What's that? An old metal box. It says fuses on it. Uh... Close shut with a screw? A disorderly pile of tools, but no flathead screwdriver. I guess I picked up the box. Let's see. Inventory. Yeah, so I picked up the box, but I'd have to find a flathead screwdriver to open it. Okay. Seems legit. 
sounds like it. Yeah. Okay, so that was the garage. Mm -mm. Can't open it. I think it's locked from the inside. What's this? <sighs> nope. Need a key to open that. Okay. There's so many doors in this house, I'm gonna get freaking lost. Oh, what's that? Um, a note? Did I see this last time? My dear eccentric husband, I left your key in the top drawer of your bureau in the library. The children have been very nervous lately. We need to talk about this as soon as you get back, and I don't want them playing with it. Oh, a note found in the mansion entrance written by Catherine Husher's wife on September 4th, 1998. The Death Marches by Carla Shlomo. It was inspired by the prisoner transfers which took place in World War II. I wouldn't put it up in my home. Neither would Daniel. Old photos of family trips and such. A pile of suitcases seems a bit much even for a long journey, but I don't think they're moving either. Yay. House is dark as heck. What's this? It's been years since I've seen one of these telephones, since we sold my parents' old house. Good music with good wine, in other circumstances. Lots of doors. The carving on the chess pieces is exquisite. An upright piano. I played one just like it as a girl. Um, I, I'm assuming I shouldn't be investigating everything, just in case. Seeing so many bottles in one place reminds me of Daniel and unpleasant times. But do let me know if you have an idea of what I should be doing. <laughs> a wilted plant sometimes happens to mine when I have a long- when I have a lot going on at the gallery. History magazines, I actually subscribe to some of these. There's soot all over. Perhaps I could get it to light somehow? I'm gonna use my scented candle in the fireplace. Did it work? I don't think it worked. Even though I have a literal candle in my hand? Uh, <laughs> only thing we seem to know about is the key. Right. Mm -mm. Okay, I guess I did put a candle there. I've never understood why people have to murder defenseless animals for sport. Novels written by Husher. I don't consider myself a fan, but I admit his books are addictive. Did I put my candle on the floor? Uh, I hope that wasn't a mistake. I didn't mean to do that. This looks like a library. I must admit, I could spend weeks on end in this library. Historical novels, like those authored by Husher. It's cheap entertainment, but devilishly addictive. Lovely camera. Wait. It's only a replica. A world globe from the 18th century? Is that like one of her abilities? Yeah, it seems like I could just like put down a put down a camera. I mean a camera. Put down a candle. Um Oh bother. <laughs> 
trying to negotiate this. This library is amazing, not gonna lie. Bob Tales, Noir Novels, and oh, Psycho by Robert Block. Enchanting. Dictionaries, atlases, and manuals. In a variety of languages, it looks like Husher does his research before writing. I can hardly resist the temptation to take one of them. Japanese swords? Both look authentic. I could even imagine them, imagine them as museum pieces. See a key in the drawer, but it's jammed? I've got to lubricate it somehow? Uh... An Olivetti from the 1940s. Usher is old-fashioned even when it comes to his work, though I admit it is quite lovely. Uh, okay. What did I use to pry the drawer open? I wonder... Porcelain fruit, candlesticks, an English tea set, all very old and dusty. Dishes and books in the same little cupboard. Odd way of arranging things. Old family photos in black and white. Mirror is covered in filth. I would fit under that table quite easily were I in need of hiding. Uh, that's a weird thing to think to yourself. You know? Interesting observation. Yeah. Huh. Table has been set for four, but they never appear to have eaten their meal. <sighs> Door is locked. Good night if I suddenly found myself in a survival horror game. <laughs> yeah. Weird. A delicate, quite elegant dinner service, but covered with dust. Matches? Heck yeah. We're gonna take those. We did find them there last time, but I don't think that Daniel picked them up. He was just kind of like, matches. Mm. He figured no need to burn the house down. Right. I wonder if I do this, I can pick up my freaking candle. First I need to first I need something to get it lit. Oh my goodness. Never mind, lady. Jeez, I'm gonna forget where everything is. I think this door here. Nope. Okay, so that door connects here. This is the dining room where the tables I could hide under the table noted this room connects to that hallway where i found the matches yeah this door kitchen there's something on the counter don't say things like that to me are we able to get to the room with the spooky door no the door is locked i believe A metal ring. 
What's that sound? I don't know. Maybe the fridge? Oh. There's still some coffee left in the pot. Water came out from under the sink and there's a wire right there. That's not good. Can I fix that? Nothing I have seems like it will not blow the house up, so... I mean, like, for real, what could I even use? You think the ring? Really? A drawing by Saul. A drawing done by Husher's youngest child. Uh... You know? That does not seem... That. Souvenirs and a list of errands. The date has expired on some of those. Put the ring on, see what happens. Oh boy. How could I get rid of the water with that? She doesn't like it. <laughs> she does not think that that's gonna work. Fresh fruit, though the apples are beginning... Fresh fruit, though the apples are beginning to rot? Okay, so they want you to get rid of the water. It does seem like that. They appear to be old cookbooks. As far as I can tell, they are written in Russian. KGB again. Oh boy. This room does not frighten me at all. Huh. Reserve cereal, a wide range of non-perishable foods. Reserves and dog food. No fresh food though. An oil can. Hey, that could work on the uh the uh the drawer, right? Lubricant. All right. What was that? Huh? Listening at doors? What was that noise? You better take a look before you go back out. To press your ear against a door, walk up to it. When you see the listen icon, Press and hold right mouse button. While you're listening, pay attention to the sounds that come from the other side. What was that? Seems like the coast is clear, using your map. From now on, you can listen to what's happening on the other side of unexamined doors. Sometimes you might have the chance to do it with other doors as well. Pay attention to the icons when you're near one. Uh, okay. Use your map to find your way around. It records every single place you've explored so far. To press it, open M. The map will be constantly updated with relevant information. Don't forget to check it out once again. I didn't hear anything in there. Hey. Okay. So I'm in the hallway. Uh, I need to go back into the library. This map is awesome. I like it. Um. So, should I go in the hallway and then to the living room in the library, or should I go through dining room, living room, library?
all living in library? Let's listen. Can't listen at this door, so I'm just gonna open it. <laughs> Rip. The crossed out I, I think, means that. Sure. I think it's like hidden or something. I don't really know why. I'm assuming if I don't see the eye, I, I mean the, the ear icon, that I could just open a door. If I see the ear, then I should listen. On the map, yeah, the crossed out eye. I think it means it's like a... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. My first thought was like, oh, it's hidden, but I've already been there, so I don't know why it would be hidden. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. These keys will usually open more than one door. Okay. Haiku folder three. Uh, can I look at it? <gasps> Should I burn it <laughs> in the fire? <laughs> um. So. So, I left your key in the top drawer of your bureau in the library. Okay, but it doesn't say what the key is for, right? We don't know what the key is for. So, I have a couple locked doors here. Um, it did say those types of keys typically open multiple doors, right. Um, so, it looks like I've got locked doors near the staircase. And I have one in the kitchen and one in the dining room. I guess I'll just start at the areas closest to me. Although I haven't even been upstairs yet, but... I'm kind of spooked. Ah! <laughs> the phone. Should I answer? Yes. Hello? Oh boy. Sorry, who is this? Why? I can't understand you. We can't leave my room. What the? What? He sounded like a child. Is he in the house? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I have regrets. What did she say at the end? The kid? Oh, Sophie? She said, um, are they in the house? She can't think of a way to burn the haiku. Mm -mm. Hmm. I guess I probably shouldn't. Odd thing to wonder. Well, like, it was like somebody called downstairs and says we can't get out of our room. And so she's like, are they in this house versus like did somebody call here from somewhere else you know what i mean yeah
I see because of what they said. Yeah. I really want to leave. I should call the cops. This is craziness. I feel like this goes to the basement. listening <laughs> hey john how you doing i'm doing good welcome in we are playing song of horror which is a <laughs> it's a um third person survival horror game um with puzzles and spooks and stuff i'm i feel weird about this room um so basically you're doing great good to hear basically we we've been playing as different characters so we started off by playing as daniel who is um, this person, the character I'm playing now, he's their ex-husband, and Daniel was sent to this mansion here to find, um, a client that has gone missing, and the client was, like, a, a historical fiction author. And so he went to go find the client, and we played as him, and we were looking around the house, and then we found this, like, spooky door that, that made us go crazy, we heard all this crazy music and stuff, um, and then we ended up like i don't even know what happened to him like all of a sudden it was like now you have to play as someone else so we get to pick from a collection of like six other characters to play from uh, to play as and so i chose sophie who's the ex-wife um and so now we're playing as her trying to find daniel and the historical fiction writer so <laughs> it's a bit uh, complicated but um there's a note stuck on the safe We're trying to make it work. <laughs> a riddle. A safe riddle. A handwritten note detailing Husher's riddle for his daughter, Julia. Dear Julia, if you found this note, congratulations. You're one step closer to solving the puzzle I've prepared for you. I hope it keeps you entertained while I'm away. I've hidden your favorite doll in the safe and changed the combination. Since you aspire to becoming a detective when you grow up, I think this is a great chance to put your deduction skills to the test. The new combination is as follows. The number of our street address, Saul's age, the decade and year the canvas hanging upstairs right next to the staircase was painted. Good luck, my dear inspector. Hugs and kisses from daddy. Oh, okay. Um, so where would I find our street address? Probably on... The Dusty Note? No. Do I have... Do I have some sort of... It would have been from the beginning, wouldn't it? Um, can we go outside? I think so. Let me finish looking around here real quick. There are some good wines down here. Some very good wines and some very good and expensive wines. What's that on the floor? Oh, maybe that's just the wine. East Asian vases. They are fine pieces. Such a shame they're kept here. They don't appear to use this wardrobe anymore. It's empty. <laughs> You're confused? What are you confused about? The, the story? 
the plot of this thing because I don't know if I explained it very well. <laughs> Something must be amiss in the fuse box. The story. So, uh, let me see if I can phrase it better. So, basically, in this... Did you see that? Oh, heck no. Heck no. Heck no. Painting by Kaufman from 1945. Old junk piled up. Old junk. I want to leave this basement right now. Right now. I'm done. Faster, my friend. Faster. Oh, I can run. I am um, the, the that cupboard in there like closed really quickly it was very uncomfortable so the story <laughs> so basically uh we started the story as daniel and daniel works for a publishing company and the publishing company like the boss reached out to daniel and said hey um our our author who's supposed to like submit his his final manuscript for his book um is missing can you go to his house and find him so daniel goes to the author's house this big mansion that we're in now and he tries to find him but he hears like this like music being played throughout the house and so he's like i need to go find the source of the music so he's looking throughout the house and eventually we find this like door that has all this like black ooze spilling out of it and daniel goes inside the door and then we find out that, like, Daniel has been there for days and he's, like, gone crazy. It does this, like, little, like, montage thing of, like, what happened to Daniel. He's, like, stuck or something, right? And then once we finish that segment, then we're prompted to play as the door shuts behind him and disappears. So he's trapped. Right, right, right. The door totally disappears. So Daniel's, like, stuck in this, like, crazy place with all this music playing and stuff. Um, and then the game prompted us to choose, like... A bunch of different characters that we could play as um so i chose sophie who's daniel's ex-wife um why is she gasping she's like gasping anyway so i choose to play as sophie and sophie is now looking for daniel so she's at the big mansion trying to find daniel as well It's a whole thing. So where's that painting by the stairs? Is it this one? The Death Marches? By Carla Shlomo? Is this the painting? There is another, you think? Other side. Old photos of family trips. Yeah, John. So now Sophie wants to find Daniel. Who is trapped. Yes. But she doesn't know he's trapped. She just she just thinks like he went missing. So, so she's trying to find him. Here's my map. I guess I'll go into the dining room. And try to open that locked door over there. Wait a minute. That's not the locked door, was it? Nope. You got it now? <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's, um... A little bit confusing um there's a lot going on especially with the fact that we can play as like so many different people oh boy 
So, a record player with a piece by Vivaldi ready to play. I'm more of a Chopin lover myself, but this isn't the worst choice. Hey! Screwdriver, that's what we needed. I'm gonna use it, I think, if I can. Have I been in the room where Daniel found the spooky door? This is the room! I, I'm in the room right now. Yes. I got fuses! Woohoo! Um, I forgot, but those go in the... Uh, the garage? Yeah, there's a note on the wall here. What's this? Julia and Saul's notes. Julia, I saw another door yesterday. As I was walking by the dining room, I suddenly heard the music from Daddy's music box. When I went in, I saw the door. I went running to tell Mummy, but when we came back, it was gone. She scolded me for making things up. It's not fair, I was telling the truth. There was an old door here, different from the rest. It even had a key in the keyhole. If I see it again, I'll go inside and leave the door open. That way, Mummy will believe me. Uh-oh. <laughs> Saul says, I saw the weird door Julia said, the one that wasn't there before. Oh boy. Oh. Mummy was very angry and kept yelling at Julia. The door is scary. I will hide the key in the dollhouse, and I will hide the five dolls, too. Even if they get mad at me, and I will bring them out when mummy, when mummy and Julia forget about the door. One will be hungry, so her friend will make dinner for her. Another one will read while her mum takes a shower. The ugly one will watch the door so nobody comes in. Um, so maybe that's telling me where all the dolls are hidden? <laughs> oh no! Yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe we just check rooms, try to see if we can find some dolls, I guess. I don't know. Um, what the devil? Doll or I become the doll? Oh, that would not be okay. <laughs> I better not. Dolls on the wall. I understand that Husher is old-fashioned, but this is sheer barbarianism. The smell of tobacco, skulls, weapons on the wall. I suppose this is why the room feels so dreary to me. Well, this is the room. So I think where I should go next is... Perhaps the... Well, I would like to unlock the door in the kitchen, but also I'd like to go to the garage and put the fuses in the fuse box. That's where they go, right? What is that noise? Upstairs footsteps maybe? Yeah. <gasps> what? What is happening? Daniel. Something is trying to get in. Make sure the door does not open. To gather your strength, repeatedly press E. Once you feel strong enough to push and block the door, press space. Waiting for maximum strength is effective but risky. You decide when to push the door, but be extra careful no matter what happens. Oh boy. Holy moly. Oh my gosh. You like that mechanic? Luckily, you made it this time. You're safe for now, but don't let your guard down. Whatever that was, it could still be lurking in the shadows. Certain events will give you the chance to put your ear to the door in rooms you have already visited. 
Just remember to be extra careful. It might save your life. <laughs> yeah, I, I have to say... What the hell just happened? What was pushing that door? I have to say, I like the mechanic too. I'm gonna listen. Daniel's pushing it. That doesn't sound very safe. What's with the heartbeat? I don't know the heartbeat thing yet. Post sounds clear now. Oh, okay. Should we go to the kitchen or should we go to the garage? I'll go to the kitchen. So, I would imagine if she hid her dolls here. I don't know, that might be the place to hide him. I think this sound is the sound of, like, the coast is clear. Still not totally sure. I used to climb into empty wardrobes like this, playing hide-and-seek as a girl. A bunch of items piled up any which way it's impossible to get through. Oh dear! Dead birds! Oh, there's some wood. Guess I could use that in the fireplace. Even though my freaking scented candle is <laughs> is in there. Oh no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I don't like it. Do not like it. Uh, the game is set in 1998. Forget, when did it come out? 2017? Uh -uh. What? There we go. Skepsis, hello! How are you doing, Skepsis? You're decorating right now, but wanted to lurk. Mm -hmm. Your friend mentioned this game to you, so it's like a little taste before I buy it. Very nice. Are you decorating for Halloween? Or for something else? Yeah, so I was playing um, The Beast Inside, and then this was also... I was, like, subscribed to Humble Bundle for a while, so it was, it was in an old bundle that I had. And I looked at this game, and it seemed sort of similar to Beast Inside in terms of, like, the the horror elements and the puzzle elements. So, I thought I'd give it a thought I'd give it a test. A D 
Demon Slayer game is coming out on Wednesday, so you're decorating for it. Nice. What's the game? Hmm. Can't seem to light the fire. Yeah, he sucked at the puzzle part of Beast Inside. Those puzzles were, some of them were like, what? <laughs> Okay, well, I can't light the fire, so I think I'm gonna try to see if I can put the fuses in the garage. And if I can't put the fuses in the garage, then I'm gonna have to go upstairs, I think. As much as I don't want to. Um, I could use the wood on the fireplace, but... Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I didn't listen at the door. I did not listen at that door, and I could have... I could use the wood, but I couldn't light it. She wouldn't let me use the matches on the wood. Sorry, sorry, the Demon Slayer game. Oh, it's called Demon Slayer. Whoa. I haven't heard of that. I need to check that out. There are greasy fingerprints all over the glass. I, I saw your, um, I saw your, uh, your demon cosplay, Skepsis. It looked so good. It's an anime-based game. Nice. Is it hard to play with, like, all the face paint, the body paint on? Okay, I'm gonna try. I don't know. Let's see here. Mm -mm. Wait, is this not where the fuses go? Mm -mm. Hmm. You like that anime? Still waiting on season two. It was super last minute while you were waiting for your friend. It's not hard, and you can see through the contact, so it's pretty comfortable. Nice. Have I been in here? Oh, it's locked from the inside. And that was the basement. Okay. Okay, well, I guess I'm going upstairs. What was that? I don't I wish I understood what the heartbeat was. You like this story? What's it about? Don't love that. Don't love that. Well? Nothing to be scared of. Right? We're just climbing. They've removed a painting from the mark on the wall. I don't think they took it down long, long ago. A portrait from 1634. I'm not familiar with the artist or the subject. Why does that look like... What's his name? Who's that actor? <laughs> uh, he has a brother. I can't remember his name, but it looks like him. The streets are so calm. Nice. Hello, Jagged. Welcome back. How have you been? How was your weekend? Black and white photo. An image of Catherine, Husher's wife, with her children 
Julia and Saul. Do not look at this photo. Mama, no! <laughs> oh, God. Why? Why? Uh, <laughs> um, so, Jagged, we're, we're playing a game called Song of Horror. And uh, I'll try to uh, explain it to you. I'm hearing heartbeat, though. God. I'll try to explain it clearly. Um, so we started the game as Daniel, and Daniel works for a publishing company, and his boss called him to tell him that his CE, the one of their authors, um, went missing, and so he asked Daniel to go find him. So Daniel goes to this huge mansion, which is where the author lives, and he doesn't find the author, but he does hear like this weird musical sound coming from one of the rooms. So he goes into the room. And there's like a door that like shouldn't be there and it's like has all this like black ooze coming out of it so he goes inside and the door disappears behind him and he gets like stuck in this like alternate <laughs> universe or something with all this music playing and he's going crazy and he's been there for days so basically that's like the end of that and then the game prompts us to play a new character and we get to choose from like a list of different people to play so i chose sophie who is daniel's ex-wife so now Sophie is back in the mansion trying to find Daniel and the missing author. It's a lot. <laughs> Work shifts. Usually you have 84 hours a week. Oh my god. You may call me a modern serf slash peasant. Oh boy. The anime is about a guy, a guy's whole family being killed by a demon vampire but his sister is still alive and she wants to change to a vampire and wants to cure his sister wow that sounds i think i would actually enjoy that I doubt the key will be of any use again. I can no longer use my key. Stop it! Oh, God! Whoa. Try it, shrimp. It's a good story. I'll look it up. I hope I, I wonder if I can find it on, like, the, if it's on any streaming services or anything. The Golden Bonfire by Husher it looks like a real page turner. This game is very good with the jump scares, I will say. <laughs> Bathroom, okay. There are all sorts of toiletries here, most still sealed. You think the heartbeat is a personal sanity indicator? Oh, that makes sense. Yes. Yay, I can use this. <laughs> um So this is like the beast inside but even worse jump scares. <laughs> yeah, so I think it's going to be very similar to the beast inside. It's like a horror survival game with puzzles and stuff. Um What's under it? I think the I think the cloth was just like shaped that way because it was on top of the sink thingy. I have no idea why it was look why it's stuck like that though. It's a ghost. <laughs> but yeah, so very much like the beast inside, but uh the jump scares have been like genuinely I mean beast inside was very scary, but this has been uh <laughs> This has been almost too much. Oh no. I don't think I should open that. Can I just inspect it? Where did this come from? Demon Slayers on Netflix? Awesome! I have Netflix, so... Mm -mm. Doors locked. 
figurines and masks from faraway places. If I had the time, I'd travel like I used to. Let's see if I can convince Amelia or Bernard. In the I'm scared game. You didn't think it ended? Let me know if you watch it. There's a movie afterwards. It blew up in Japan and sold out in theaters in the US. I'll definitely let you know if I watch it. Oh, thank goodness, I'm outside. Oh! No matter how much I feel, no matter how much I feel around the floodlight, it will be useless until I can turn it on? You like the lighting for this game, but you think you'd get so lost? Well, look, 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 there's, um... Well, this actually doesn't help, but... <laughs> There's a map, and the map is super handy. I was terrified I was going to get lost, but having the map really helps. It tells you, like, where you are, where all the rooms are, what each floor plan looks like. Yeah. So don't panic. <laughs> huh. I'm not sure, but I'd say this battery belongs to that floodlight. I wouldn't know where to begin. I guess I can't put them in. Um. Yeah, I can't, for some reason, can't use those. Don't know why. What's that? Boxes full of soil and fertilizer. These plants are nice and green, due to the rain, I reckon. Tongs! Grill tongs with a wooden handle. Perfect for cooking a barbecue? Um... I don't know what I would use those for yet. What's that? Happy anniversary. And the candle is still lit. Interesting. So, there's nothing... Can I use the tongs with the fuses? Can I combine things here? Mm -mm. Uh. I can only combine two things, it seems. You don't think the fuses will go with anything battery-powered? Well, see, that just shows you how much I know <laughs> about, um... About anything fuse related or battery power related. Okay. Remote control? A standard garage door remote control. The button seems to be worn down. Huh. Must be for some door or device. Could be wrong though, you're not an electrician. Lovely armchair and surrounded by books. I wouldn't mind sitting down to page through a few. Use in the main box. Yeah, I couldn't find the main box. Maybe it was it was it in the basement? I don't even remember. Keep that table in mind if you need a spot to hide. Stop. <laughs> Reference books of all sorts. Medicine, physics, psychology. There are some. There are some on art, which I own, too. Encyclopedias, dictionaries, quite a fine reference collection. An Impressionist Landscape from 1905. Evocative. One of the loveliest I've seen in the house. Why do we need to hide? It's a good question. Is that the picture? I don't know. Let me see. Um, 
the decade and year the canvas hanging upstairs right next to the staircase was painted. So that's probably the one back towards the other side. Oh, and Saul is seven. If I can get this flipped around right. There we go. So Saul's age is seven. These are also used with battery power, like motorcycle. There is a motorcycle in the garage. Maybe I can, like, get it working and drive out of here. Mainly African masks. Some are Indian, though that is not my field of expertise. Beautiful. There's something jamming the lock. I believe it's a broken key. Um, tongs? I can't clasp something so small with these tongs. <laughs> Leave your ex, it's done. I mean, honestly? I don't even know if he's here, right? I mean, technically, Sophie doesn't know anything. A filing cabinet with contacts. We have several at the gallery, but ours are from this century. What did it say about the lock? There's a there's a key, like a half of a key stuck inside the lock. And I can't use the tongs because it's too small. And so I don't know what I could use. Um it's sticking out, yeah, like part of it well it's like inside kind of like stuck, like broken off inside. I don't like it. Don't like the footsteps. There's not a key on in the door on the other side. Ooh, screwdriver. I used it up already. I don't have it anymore. Hello, Edgy. Welcome in. Hope you had a good weekend. Are the jump scares cheap or good quality? <laughs> Just tuning in. Is the story creepier? Um, the jump scares are legitimately scary. <laughs> Um, legitimately, like, unexpected good. Good jump scares. Um, the story is so far interesting. Um, I'm basically looking for my ex-husband and, um, a famous author. And they're, they went missing in this huge mansion. So I'm trying to find them. Um, and shit's real creepy, so. So, so far. So far, so good. And there's puzzles, which are, which is always fun. What's that? Second letter from Isaac Farber. Dear Sebastian, I wanted to tell you firsthand that I will be taking some much needed time off, which means that the store will be closed as of tomorrow. I wanted you to hear it from me rather than read it on a sign on our door. My daughter is currently traveling, and I must confess I can't keep up with our everyday demands on my own, especially since I haven't been able to sleep well lately. As soon as she's back, we'll be open for business again. Rest assured, you'll be the first to know. I hope you feel better by then. Please give my warmest regards to your family. Sincerely, Isaac Farber. So, um, Isaac Farber owns an antique shop. And he seems to be the guy that Sebastian, who is like the famous author who's gone missing. Um, so Isaac Farber gives Sebastian all of these like antiques, like really like crazy things for his house. And Isaac gave Sebastian a music box that had like a really crazy like sound that he couldn't get out of his head. And ever since that day, Sebastian hasn't been seen. the coast is clear. Nothing of interest here, just an old record player. What's that? Elevation plan of the Husher mansion? An elevation of the mansion with some notes on it. A 
Erect scaffolding, paint exterior, repair leaks, fix loose tiles, check old pipes. Nice way to take out your adversary, give them a haunted music box. <laughs> I mean... No one would ever suspect it, right? <laughs> What? Nope, 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 nope. I have to get in there. Girlfriend, you gotta calm down, is what you have to do. I wish my foot. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, is this the painting that I need to- This is the one? Portrait from 1634? What is that sound? That is the sound of someone crying. And I don't know <laughs> who they are or why. <laughs> um, I need to find out who they are though, unfortunately. Um, who is that actor? Who does he look like? Oh, I can't remember. Um, I think this is the one from the riddle, though. The decade and year, the canvas hanging upstairs, right next to the staircase, was painted. Right? The riddle? I mean, it could be this one that was- that's missing, you know? Um... So the interesting thing about this game, if there's one missing, it could be the one that was on the ground at the desk. Well, it was round. The shape of it was round, you know? This seems perfectly safe. Wait. <laughs> Cleaning up a puddle. Uh, I think, wait, was I just supposed to clean up the puddle? There's nothing else? Interesting. Okay. So I have a couple puzzles, I think, at once. The most important one is probably the the safe so there's a safe in the basement and this is the riddle the combination is the number of our street address saul's age saul is um baby brother and the decade and year the canvas hanging upstairs right next to the staircase was painted it won't let me mess with the wires now that the puzzle is gone right i can't mess with the wires Open the fridge. I'm not able to open... I'm not able to open the fridge. The water, the puddle. Yeah, no, I can't. Can't mess with the wire. What was that? Is anybody there? What was that? <gasps> what do I do? Bruh. Flip 
been stalking Poltergeist. Not a fan. Not. Do I need to go back down to the basement? I'm listening at every single door if I get the opportunity. I will not. Will not be caught. So we know Saul's. Do we know our house? What the house address is? What's the house address? Just casually gonna leave. Feels great to be outside and never come back. Oh. I don't know if I'm able to find the house address. Daniel's car is here, so he's either inside the house or that bloody junker finally broke down. <laughs> bye bye, X. Too bad, so sad. Um, I don't think we can see. If it isn't on the house somewhere, maybe it's on some mail or something. Okay, I like it. This is the drawing by the youngest child? Who's clearly not uh, going through something. Um, Julia and Saul's notes. Age seven. Yeah. Age seven on the back. Oh, is the, uh, is the address here? It says, my beloved eccentric husband. Yup. I love you, but you crazy. There's this lovely photo. Dang it. I need to figure out what the address is. I feel like it was it was said so many times in the beginning of the game. It's totally. Totally forgot what it was. And there's no like log of things either. There's no like uh, list of things that I know, you know? Um... Wish I could remember. Yeah, I'll go back up to the garage after I check to m make sure that the fuse box wasn't down here. Because I kind of sworn I saw the fuse box here. Nope. Big ol' nope. Big ol' nope. Fuses, here we go. Heck. Wow. 
much. Wait, what is this puzzle? Is it by color? See the color wire. Oh, so maybe see where the color wires connect. Okay. I put them in wrong. Oh, I thought I was doing it right. What? Did I get the last two mixed up or something? And the game has attitude. I guess 10... Uh... Is 10A yellow or red? Colors don't matter on the fuses? Uh-oh. I think the combination of numbers or amps need to match the amp values on the left side of the fuse box. The number. So I need to Uh, this one's actually, <laughs> I'm, I'm struggling. I don't quite get it. Do I need to use all four fuses or just, just a combination of two or three? Do you see how red, blue, and green wires all lead to the top right box? You mean top left box? Top left? Yeah, okay, okay. I see the red, blue, and green and how they all lead to the top left. Yeah. Oh. That means so the fuses that come from each of those wires will be added together. Oh, yeah, okay. So they need to be added together. Probably want it to equal 50 amps since it's the most wires. Okay, so 20, so we need 20 and 25 are going to be 45, so we probably want, what's, oh, math, <laughs> 20 and 15 is 35 plus 10, which is 45, so we want Uh, tw what's 25 and 15? That's 10. Um, wait. Hold on. 
35? 25 and 15 is 35? It's 40. Oh, so okay, so we want 25, 15, and 10, I think. Fifteen. Uh, I think I have to use that last use. Is that... Did I do that wrong? Uh, I think I did that wrong. Let's do the math before the rest of them. Oh, I didn't mean to actually do that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I wish they would stop turning. I don't really see what the point of them turning is. Um, the values have to be correct for the other two. Oh my goodness, green, blue, red in first box, orange, green in second box, red, green in third box. So, <laughs> see the arrows of input and output on the box. We have to calculate it properly. Just as she said, eeny meeny mo won't help. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, geez, um, so so it has to be okay, 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 wait, wait, wait. Um, Twenty and I'm lost. I'm super lost. Twenty and twenty five. Are those both going to the same place? This is tough to visualize in the mind. You might try doing the initial solution, and then we edit and revise from there. Uh, okay. Did I do... I don't really remember what I did <laughs> the first time. It was 20... was it 25, 15, and 10? Like that? So does that mean that 10 and 15 are going to the same place? Let's look at how the others add up now, okay? 10 is blue wire, yep. So middle box. The blue wire is going to the left box, though. Can I go closer? I can't. I can't get any closer than this, unfortunately. The 
blue wire seems to be going to the box on the left to me. Um, okay, so blue left. So 10. The right box that has the yellow wire coming out of it and the green and red going in. Right, so the value for right box is green plus red. Okay, which has to be, but doesn't it need to be 30? Okay, so I think I see now. So if I do 20 and 10 in those boxes, So 20 and 10 fit there because they that equals 30. Middle box is yellow and green and it has to equal 50. Uh-oh. I don't have anything that wait. I don't have anything that would equal 50 out of 2. Right? So you don't think we're shooting for 30. Oh, I thought it had to line up with the boxes on the tubes on the left. Can we shoot for 25 on the right box? No, no, you have to get at least as her first box 50 amps. See the green, blue, and red. Right. Um... So that means that we have, so the tubes on the left where it says 25A, 50A, and 30A are not related to the square boxes on the top where the wires are coming in and out of. I thought that they were supposed to match left, middle, and right. Um, should be 25 and 20 first column as we don't know the output wires what their amper what their amperage is I hope I'm correct 25 and 20 in the first column So 25 and 20, because that's, oh, and then, and then 25 and 25 and 10 is 30. So I'm going to put 10 in the lower right. Maybe? Then 15 and 10 second because lower, lower, left lower has a yellow too. Nope. 
Unless I did it wrong. We're close. Um, I hope so. <laughs> I hope we're close. Should I try flipping him? No. Is that 20 and 25 in the first column and 15 and 10 in the second? Wait, so yeah, 15 and 10 have to be used to get 25. So that should be either yellow and green or red and green. Could it be like that? Fifteen and ten have to be used to get twenty-five. Yellow and green are middle box, and or red and green are right box. Uh, the math makes sense. It is the sequence we are messing up with. Uh, <laughs> I am confusion. Um, let me see. So 15 and 10 have to be used to get 25. It'll be either... So 15 and 10 with middle or right box? <laughs> You're also confused. <laughs> yeah, this puzzle like is legitimately over my head. <laughs> I have no idea. And I'm typically good at puzzles, but I, I do not understand this one. <laughs> yeah, because they are the ones they are the ones with only two wires leading to them. Yeah, but does that mean that fifteen and ten need to be in the yellow? Okay. It needs to be like that then, right? Either in yellow and green or red and green? So... Now we have 25 going to the middle box. Right. Correct. Can we make 50 going to the left box? 50, um, if we have 20 and 10, that's going to be 30. And if we have 20, 25, and, well, we're going to have more than 50, I think. Start fresh. 10 in the lower right first. Okay, I have that there. 
25 in top left, 15 in top right, and 20 in lower left. Let me restart it. Okay, so 10 in lower right, 25 in top left, 15 in top right, 20 lower left. I believe it will be fine that way. I'll attempt to turn on the switch to see if it works. Oh god. Hey. That was all you guys. For real. <laughs> Daniel, if you're here, I'm going to find you. Nicely done, y'all. I did nothing. <laughs> I just put the fuses in. Were those there before? Those pictures on the ground? Hmm, I guess... <gasps> um... Lady? Okay, stepping the amps gradually. <laughs> Psycho developers. Yeah, they're just doing them all at once. Oh! Um. Can I open this? It's locked from the inside. Developer like beast inside. <laughs> yep. Yay, lights are on. I feel so much safer. So, I guess my main puzzle now is figuring out the safe. So, I need to remember what this what the street address is. So I need to find a document that has the street address on it. And I hope that I can find one. I don't even know where one would be. Magazines. Can I look at those? I guess not. More like the I'm scared. Deception. The concerned fuse boxes were not sequential. That's how it worked. Ah. Where to find the address? Hmm. Wasn't it like 76 Abbott or something like that? 7? 76 or 7 Abbott? Developer is the ghost. I believe it. Where am I remembering that from? From the very beginning. Um, yeah, the conversation when the boss was like, I need you to go to this address, write this down. And it was like 76 Abbott or something like that. I don't remember the... I need to remember the conversation. I think that's the only way I can get the safe open. Because I don't think there's anything anywhere with our ad with the address on this unless i'm wrong 
You think it's on the blueprint? Wait a second. Like here somewhere? Um... I don't see, unless it's there, I don't know. The back, the back side has like stuff to do, like a checklist. Could it be number three? Um, maybe it might be blueprint number three. Well, actually, I guess the other problem is that we don't know what exact painting is part of the clue as well. Just a blueprint number? Right, that's what I'm thinking. No, no worries. Um, so the clues are... Clues are the number of our street address, Saul's age, which we know his age is seven, uh, the decade and year, the canvas hanging upstairs right next to the staircase was painted. So we have the age, we just need the street address and the, the painting date. <gasps> oh, oh no. I kind of want to check it out. I kind of want to run away. I'm going to run. I'm not dealing with that. Have any other things in the house that use electric? Um, hmm. Oh, the fridge? The kitchen? <laughs> hey, bye. I am out. Yeah, is this the, that the painting that he's talking about? Or is it this dude down here? Like, maybe something is lit up now that we couldn't see before. Well, we do know that there was a, uh, 1634. Well, let's remember that date. I have a feeling it's the portrait that's missing from the wall, but maybe it's not. Probably the missing one. I don't know. I'm gonna go to the kitchen because the kitchen had the wire, but that means we have to go into this door. So everybody, let's hope we don't die. The ghost door. Hello, ghost kitchen. I still can't do anything with that wire. I've already been in here. I'm just checking to see if there's anything new. The apple? clock works in real time that's it the clock on the wall up there excuse me that was the storage room hmm Yeah, this game is, like, considerably harder to keep track of, like, not not so linear as Beast Inside was very linear. Um, a 
guess I'll check up here and see if I can't, uh... Get something to happen. Eat some food, use the tongs on the microwave. <gasps> hey, I couldn't open this before. What is that? That room looks really dark. It looks really dark. There's someone banging on the door. Okay, everyone relax, 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 relax. Look open on the table. Did I ring the doorbell? Developer is a scientist that got fired. And tried making games. Um, what's that? Oh god, what did I just do? Uh-huh. Uh what did I just do? Aw, the light scared the ghosts away. Old records strewn about the bed. There's classical music, though I don't recognize the pieces. Hey! Here's a doll. A rag doll with a flower in her hair. <laughs> Is she happy or merely starving? Who thinks that when they look at a doll? Masha's recording. A voice recording of the Husher Mansion housekeeper Masha. The label on the cassette reads September 11th, 1998. <laughs> Don't shake it. <laughs> I gotta shake the doll. I had just lost him to Wally. A few days ago, Mrs. Catherine started sleeping in Sue's room with the children. She's been avoiding me lately. Is she ashamed of something? Alexander and I have lived in this house for 16 years. With her and Mr. Sebastian. We've seen the children grow since they were babies. I don't understand this sudden change in attitude. I think it's Freddy. Freddy versus you. Oh. Heck. Uh -huh. The neighborhood is quiet, deserted even. A full suitcase and an empty one. Were they about to leave but couldn't finish packing? Well, that was new. Didn't go in there before. Can I go in here? Oh, all these doors are unlocked. Wait, no. I went in here. God, oh 
my god. <laughs> What's happening? What am I doing? The darkness hiding. Something terrible is drawing near. You need to hide before it's too late. Look around you and find a place where you can go undetected. Once you've interacted with a hiding place, it will appear on the map with the following symbol. Time is short. To run, hold shift. What? The wardrobe. Girlfriend, get inside. <laughs> what? The darkness, keeping calm. You managed to hide from the darkness, but the worst is yet to come. Try to keep a level head. To calm down, follow the rhythm of your heartbeat by pressing space when the white border reaches the center of the circle. Don't let your heart beat too fast or you'll start to panic. Above all else, don't look at it. Oh, God. I think I did that right. Yo, we meditating. For real? Or am I imagining things? There's a lion and a witch in here. <laughs> huh? Well, that was terrifying. This dollhouse is marvelous. <gasps> Ooh. Ah. So this is part of a puzzle that I found. It's the riddle. Yeah. Was it this one? Yeah. So it says, this is for the dolls. So I will hide the key in the dollhouse and I will hide the five dolls too, even if they get mad at me. Um, okay, blah, blah, blah. One will be hungry, so her friend will make dinner for her. Another one will read while her mum takes a shower. The ugly one will watch the door so nobody comes in. <gasps> oh, and I said when I found the doll um, that she looked like she was starving, right? So she's going into the uh, happy or starving. She's going to sit in the dining room. <laughs> Nailed it. Okay. What are these? Second drawing by Saul. All seven. Um. Dad? Violent? What type of child makes such drawings? He must have gone through something. Not even my childhood memories are as old as these toys. Okay. Alright, I guess I have to go out there. <laughs> I don't want to. What the heck? Maybe the dolls are at the place right in the dollhouse. Maybe, like, if he's like, maybe I can find a doll in the different rooms that it mentions. I'll go this way. Like in the kitchen? Yep, I like it. Keep that table in mind if you need a spot to hide. Okay, game. I will. Did I get in here before? No, I needed a... 
Oh, I needed something to get this thing open. Can't. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You were thinking the rooms mentioned are the rooms you need to place the dolls into. Um. Yes. <laughs> I think that's. I think. Is it just making a bunch of racket? Yeah. Just making a bunch of racket. Yeah, I think that might be right too. Um It could be maybe scared. Dude, there's someone crying in there. Uh uh. Come on. Dang it. Where to put them in the dollhouse and where to find them in the house? Maybe? I mean, it's a good place to start. Just to start looking for stuff, maybe. I'm gonna try using my tongs on the battery. I don't really know what the point of this thing is. Tongs are useless. What if I combine the ring and the tongs? Did I already do this? Remote control does not activate it. Okay. Okay. My next thought is to go... Because I have a garage remote button. So I was thinking I'd go to the garage, try out my remote button, see if it works. I don't know what the battery wants. It just... my The character's just like, I don't know how to use this thing. And so I think I just have to... At some point, like, nope, have it. Good job. Um, at some point, find something to make it work. I haven't found it yet. Find a way to connect the battery to the floodlight. Yeah. What's that red dot? Oh, it's that. This seems to be powered with an electrical current. Um, I was scared that was going to go off. Uh, why? Keypad? I can't use it. I can't, like, interact with it in any way. It's just, like... Oh, I hope that doesn't go off on me. Okay. Garage. Maybe I can get something to work. Water is dripping onto that electrical box. I need to do something about it. Uh, um. How? What? The cloth, I don't have it anymore. The boiler appears to be running. I see leaks all over and many different damp spots. Oh, can I shut it down? 
should I? Shut down, press the left button. Uh... I thought uh, hold for four seconds. Thank you. I thought that was four seconds. Perform emergency shutdown by keeping the blue button pressed for four seconds. Is the left button the one on the far left? I don't think I can switch that one. I think I can only do these three. That seemed to work out. Now let me use my little remote thing. Well, what do you know? Secrets and secrets. <laughs> more and more secrets. Ooh, look at that. Battery clamps. Nice. What is that noise? Pusher must have left one of his folders inside the car. Should I try and take the folder? Yes. Obviously, right? She, she made that seem very difficult. Haiku folder number two, a piece of a collectible. Address, where? Uh, I can't open it, no. It's like... It's totally just stuck. Stuck like that. Even when I try to inspect it. You think the floodlight will light up the address? Ooh. The inside looks quite comfortable with every accessory imaginable. What is this? Can't. Can't play in the sandbox. Bummer. Maybe kind of a wild guess. I'm here for it. I hope that that's the, the case. football with the ghost <gasps> a barbecue reminds me of the summer i spent with daniel at his aunt and uncle's beach home nice tongs yeah i can't use anything with it <laughs> but imagine if i could A pick and bucket to use for gardening, I suppose. I think that's everywhere I can look out here. As much as I've loved being outside and away from the freaking spook. Everything seems fine. Locked with a key. This must be the servant's door. Rare is the mansion that doesn't have one. Alright, fine. I'll go back to the main entrance. Whoa, a car just drove by. That oddly makes me feel comforted.
ghost car. No. No ghost cars. Well? Hmm. Well? What's my, uh... Oh, I guess the fire... Do I have anything to help me with the fireplace? Is that supposed to be a cat meowing in the background? I think it's, um, like a, a creaky fence. I think, but I don't know. Phone call, what did you miss? You missed, so we found this whole side porch, that huge chunk on the left. We just found that by opening the, by turning off the boiler and using our remote on the, did my candle just go out? Is that supposed to happen? Uh, I'm not cool with my candle going out. Uh, I do have the matches, but I can't use it on my candle. Unless, wait. Wait, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Well. That's, I just set a candle at the base of the stairs. Yay. Didn't mean to do that. What is it? What do I see? What is it? What do I see? I don't know what's going on. Am I supposed to be running? Why can't I hide? A spawn point for the ghosts. The ghosts it seemed definitely pissed. Whoa. That was legitimately what the heck. I don't have a candle anymore. That'd be a way to turn my candle on. Come on. And look at that. I'm running out of out of scented candles. Oh boy. It's going to be not okay. Just in time for the floodlight, I guess, right? Ghosts really hate the candles. Hello? There we go. We'll just attach this thing here. And then... Wait. Can I... Oh my god. Can I like burn? <laughs> This isn't scary at all. I guess I'll shine it on that door. I mean, that's probably the spot. Whoa. Come on, light. You think you were really wrong about that address? Oh. <laughs> I 
Ooh. Hello, light. Bye bye, ghost goo. <laughs> and we still don't have a candle. Wait, can I use this candle out here? Can I take it? Can't take it. Okay, game. Fair enough. I'm not scared. I'm not scared of the dark. Who would be scared of the dark in a place like this? Are we listening? Perfectly normal. Black and white photos and sepia prints. They're modern, but I suppose they were trying to give them an antique finish. A key? Small gold key hanging from a circled chain? Masha. A key that belongs to Masha, the housekeeper. Oh, do you think that's like for the side gate? Julia? Just kidding. I bet we'll find a door that says Masha. Whoa, Julia. It's filled with medals and trophies. I've never heard of these bands. I must be getting old. An amusing poster of Through the Looking Glass. I adore Carol. I'd wager everyone thinks it's from Alice in Wonderland. Hello, Fendi Paws. How are ya? Welcome in. We are playing Song of Horror, a spooky puzzle game. <laughs> Very spooky. Julia and Saul's recording. This is a voice recording of Husher's children. The label on the cassette reads J and S, September 14th, 98. Here we go. Nope. Big ol' nopes. Cat just screeched. How do I look at that on the bed? What's going on? The girl seems to be an ace at skating. I've probably forgotten all my moves. Apparently this wardrobe has been emptied out. What's that? Instant glue? Tube of super glue? Hmm. I've seen antiques restored with a similar glue. If it works on them, it'll work on anything. Do we have anything where we would use glue on yet? A girl's bed, it's made up but covered in dust. dark. don't like it. Maybe a doll? Good one. Yeah, maybe. I'm gonna open this door. I'm scared. Yo. The mirror is broken. The toilet is clogged and it reeks. Oh dear, I see something down in there. Ew! Oh, I have to pick it up? Oh boy. Wait a minute. Tongs. Yo. Ew. I knew those tongs were handy. <gasps> A dirty old rag doll. The poor thing is all patched up. What a horrid, unpleasant thing. You think that's the um that's the ugly one? <laughs> I think it might be the ugly doll. Oh my god, I wish I had my candle. Eat this. There's a bookcase blocking the door. What the devil could have happened? 
Can I not move it? Oh, there's something in there. There is somebody in there. No hope of getting out of the microwave now. <laughs> not at least with those tongs, yeah. We need a new set of tongs. Um... Light my candle? How do I light my candle? Do you know how? I, uh... It flickered off when I walked out of a doorway. And I haven't been able to get it... To get it working since. Okay. Which room was... The playroom? This one here. Try the fireplace? I think you're right. I think I need to go back to the fireplace at some point, too. That's true. The lights are on. Wait, where was the ugly one? So it says... It says, uh, one will be hungry. Okay, so we got one in the dining room. So her friend will make dinner for her. Another one will read while her mom takes a shower. Oh, do you think she's... Do you think she's the one at the shower? Or do you think she's the ugly one? The ugly one will watch the door so nobody comes in. Hmm. Where is the door? You think ugly? It isn't... It isn't the doll showering? Okay. Is the door at the bottom left? Like that? Or is she like outside the shower door? So that nobody comes into the shower? Hmm. Questions, questions, questions. Let me see, let me see. So it says, another one will read while her mom takes a shower. The ugly one will watch the door so nobody comes in. You think maybe at the bed? Yeah, like maybe she's watching the shower door so that... <laughs> does that even make sense? I think it does. Oopsie. Like... Yikes. <laughs> um, I don't like the way she's sitting there, but... Maybe at bed because dollhouse in the bedroom. Oh, wait, we, like, we found the doll in the bedroom? Interesting. Well, I guess we can just leave it like that until we find more, and then we can make a decision. Huh? Um... So... Do we think... Oh, hey, yes? Is that... Oop, drawing in here? Is it the drawing of the dollhouse? Chalk. Um, it might be, with the four things on it. I can't interact with it. I have a question. Was the doll washed or cleaned after it was salvaged from the toilet seat? It was neither. <laughs> it was not washed or cleaned. I just literally put it in my pocket and took it here. <laughs> um, which made me wonder if it wasn't the dirty one. You know what I mean? Um... Like, we could give her a shower. I don't know. You know? Maybe we'll find a doll who's, like, really ugly. <laughs> That's why it's ugly. That is why it's ugly. Um, getting real shining vibes from that bathtub now. <laughs> yeah, that's why we thought it was ugly, because it was, like, found in the toilet, and it was all gross-looking. 
but it could need a shower. That I, like, I totally, both of those make perfect sense to me, so. I don't know. Oh, wait, lights on, on keyboard. You don't know what the key light is. The doll's kind of cute to me. I think all the dolls are very cute. I, I think they're adorable. Could be watching the door from the bathroom. Well, I think at some point we're going to have to put a doll in the shower, because I think that's what the riddle says. Where is keybind? There's no key bindings. I have no idea how to turn on my candle. <laughs> Watching from inside the bathroom. Could be, could be. Okay. So. I need... What do I need to do? Should I try to fix... I mean... Should I try to get the candle? I mean, the fireplace working? Do we think I have the, the, the gear for that yet? Oh wait, I have Masha's key. Start pressing keys until you find it. Yo, Bendy Paws, you're a genius. <laughs> I pressed G and it worked. <laughs> um, Masha's key. We don't know where Masha's key goes, right? <laughs> Stan totally corrected. Nope. Right, stop it. Go the other way oh my gosh this perspective thing is kind of i wish that like it would keep the same key binds no matter what direction you're facing because it like it changes perspective on you and then you have to like adjust nutty okay wait where was the staff door i have an idea i think I think if I go this way, if I can, can I go this way? Totally jammed. Dang it. I have to go through the garage. You're right. Yeah, we zooming. Oh, four. That's, that's the address right there. Yeah. Wait a minute. So all we need, so we have four. We have four and seven. Now all we need... is wait wait a minute that's not it I'm looking at the wrong completely wrong thing four and then seven and then the decade and year the canvas hanging upstairs right but it's probably unable to be found right I think we need to start the floodlight first. Floodlight. <gasps> Stop, game. It's opening. Do something fast. Bruh. That wasn't <laughs> not okay. Yeah, I, yeah, tell me about it. Ooh, I hear things. Really long fingers. <laughs> Very uncomfortably long fingers. Not today, music box. Ghost, not today. <laughs> Heck no. What would a ghost like that be doing in the garage, I ask you?
Always listen in case you die. Oops. Uh -uh. That finger really likes pianos. <laughs> it is a musical ghost. Yo, secret rooms. We love it. Notes with chores and odd jobs to do. Some are written in the Cyrillic alphabet? Where do we have to submit all the collected data? Um, we have to submit it in a safe downstairs. In the basement, of course. Because why not? Let's try 1764 as well. Or was it 16? I think it was 1634 was the painting that we found upstairs. It might not be the round one, but let's see what this is. Alexander, I wish you never had to find this note. I left the house, or at least I tried. I pray that this is not the last time you hear from me. I haven't seen Mrs. Catherine or the children in days. Sometimes I hear them crying upstairs, but I never find them. They always seem to be in the room next door, even if such a room doesn't exist. There is something horrendous here with us, something that I can't describe. I barely uh, dare to leave our room anymore. I have to go before it's too late. I love you, Masha. Yikes. A Bible. I love fantasy stories, but between that and having to believe they're real is quite a leap of faith. Here's another doll. An orange rag doll with a short ponytail. What a cute little nose she has. Well, this one isn't the ugly one. Cyrillic script again, the Russians. You think the developers are the same as that of the beast inside? Yeah, what's with these games in Russians, I swear. A pile of clean clothes ready to be ironed. An aura of sudden abandonment enshrouds this place. Masha's the ghost? I believe it. A sewing machine with a foot pedal. I don't recognize the brand name, but I've seen many resembling it. Apparently this closet has been emptied. Okay. Nice little bathroom. Dirty towels that smell moldy. Nobody has changed them in weeks. Gross. Okay, so... I can hide in here. That's good to know. Did I see that picture before? Several religious objects in old photos. In the background are some bulb-shaped domes, typical of Russia. Yo. What's that? Two bottles of sleeping pills and one is empty? Ritro. Developers do like the Russians. So, oh, I see. I need to unlock this from this side. Should be able to open this door now. Great. So let's go upstairs and put our little doll away. Where am I? I thought I was going out. <laughs> okay. What's that? Wait. Game. Bottles of cleaning products? Bleach? Fabric softeners? Oh, the laundry room! I can't interact with that thing. <gasps> Solvent. A can of universal thinner? 
Your classicals cleaning solvent. There's still quite a bit left. Do we know what I can use that for yet? If anything? Cannot interact with this diamond. We'll just get rid of the black goo and GG. <laughs> Heck yeah. File, it's so dark I can't even see below the surface. Aw, oh, no. I, the thought of putting my hand in there is as appealing as having my legs broken. Is this necessary? <laughs> yes or no? I don't have tongs anymore, but there could be a doll or Daniel. You're right. It could be Daniel. What's the worst that could happen? Let's do it. She's taking her candle hand in it. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no! Sophie did not make it. Do you want to change Sophie's fate? Yeah, I do. I do. Of course I want to change her fate. I guess, yeah, I died. So the death traps are real. <laughs> yeah, that's, um, that's very sad. All right, we've learned our lesson. Don't stick our hands in the... Uh, In bathtubs. Huh. Okay. Gross. I can't seem to interact with whatever this thing is, and that's bothering me. There we go. Clean sheets. They are stiff from all the time they've been hanging there. Okay. Can you use items on the bath? Should I try it? Like the cleaning solvent? <laughs> or glue? No, it's only E and a question mark. Yeah. I can't, it's only, um, if I was going to use an item, it would prompt me with Q. And then I could use anything from my inventory. But I, it's only prompting E, yeah. So. I guess I'm free from having to purge the ghost bath. And to be honest, <laughs> I'm very relieved. I like how there's just like that question mark just sitting there. I mean, maybe at some point I can like, if I find something to use. But I don't know if that'll happen. Ghosts want a shampoo. Ghosts want the spa treatment, yo. <laughs> shampoo. So I gotta go to the playroom. Those just want to relax, you know? Told you he was confused. <laughs> Literally scared the crap out of me. <laughs> oh, God. 
Damn it, that was close. Big ol' nope. Big ol' nope. Okay. All right. One will be hungry, so her friend will make dinner. Another one will read while her mom takes a shower. The ugly one will watch the door so nobody comes in. Ghosts think we had a spy on them. <laughs> now he feels bad we didn't disturb him again. So... A rag doll with a short ponytail. She's kind of wearing a little apron. Do we think she's, um, she's cooking? Maybe? She's making dinner? I don't know. Maybe? I guess they're all kind of wearing little aprons, though. I think it depends on how many dolls. Yes, agreed. I'm imagining we would find dolls for each thing, but maybe we won't. Read while mom showers? Yes, there's a library next to the shower. Must be seven, yeah. If there are three, then mom and friend probably won't be dolls. Right. Yeah, how do we know how many dolls there are? I guess we don't. If there are more than three, then all of them are dolls. Right. Hmm. Yeah. Try to read it. So... One will be hungry, so her friend will make dinner for her. Another one will read while her mom takes a shower. The ugly one will watch the door so nobody comes in. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. The other idea is that there are only three dolls because there's they only reference one. One will be hungry, another one will read, the ugly one will watch the door, you know? Oh, it says there are five. Oh, I will hide five dolls, too. You're right. You're right. Comprehension. <laughs> okay, so what's our our next kind of thing? Maybe is the is the fireplace? Oh, wait. <laughs> At least you haven't suggested falling. <laughs> Listen, at this point, stop it, game. At this point, I'd be down to fall. Legend has it you make you first make a claim, then after ten seconds you correct yourself. Indeed. What could I use to get this key unstuck? Open the door with... Hmm. Because this door, remember, has the key that's stuck inside it, you know? What to do? So I guess besides that door, I've got... Um... I've got that door, and then I have... The door downstairs, uh, the fireplace downstairs, as my sort of places, uh, 
places to do things. I'm a little bit... Do we know where the safe is? Yes, the safe is, is um, in the basement. Do we want to go check out the safe? Hmm. Should we double check the paintings that we have the dates on them? Sure. So this painting is missing. We don't know where that is. This painting is a portrait from 1634 not familiar with the artist or the subject. Yeah. Um, and I think that's, those are the only options. Because the riddle says at the top of the stairs. It says, uh, the decade and year the canvas hanging upstairs right next to the staircase was painted. You think the one in the room is 1905? What room? The one by the desk? Yes, we should try to collect all the dolls, but there might be a doll in the safe. There might be a doll when I figure out the fireplace. Like, there's all sorts of places dolls could be. Grayson, are you talking about this one here? Impressionist landscape from 1905. Yeah, but probably not the one since it isn't a round frame. Right. That is my thinking as well. Uh, okay, well... I guess I'll go down to the basement and we'll see if we can plug in the numbers that we have. And hopefully we do. Hopefully we get it. And if not, I think we need to figure out the fireplace trick first. Or after that. Can you use the light outside? Um... Fucking hell. Oh my god. Run! Girlfriend! Oh my god. She's very bad at running. Shoot! There's nowhere to hide around here! That's not true. You said there was a place to hide right here. <laughs> You're bad. <laughs> That was legitimately not okay. Um, BRB, all right. Let me see. I can't use the floodlight right now. That is, she won't let me. Let's try our info into the, uh, in the, uh, whatchamacallit, the basement. Whoop. Whoop. Hmm. 
Hmm. How do I get there? <laughs> this way. Okay. This basement, not scary at all. Oh, great. Okay. This is the safe. So there's four numbers. So it's the number of our street address, which is four. Um, it's the Saul's age, which is seven. Uh, the decade and year, the canvas hanging upstairs. Oh. Just 34? Uh-uh. Nope. Not it. You probably need to find the rounded one, huh? Yeah, gotta find the, the round painting. That's what I think. Okay, so I think what we can do now... Fireplace is still unresolved. Um... What else? The dolls? I think maybe if we figure out the fireplace thing, we might be able to figure out... It's just gonna unravel from there, I think. I would imagine. I think that's the only thing that needs to be figured out, because we got the... We got the, the weird, um... Rag thing. Okay. What could I use? So I put wood in the fireplace, right? I can't just use matches because she said um, she'll use up all the matches before managing to light a fire. Um, could I use solvent? Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. That ammonia is making my eyes tear up. Uh... I don't know what that does. It didn't really do anything, did it? Except for make it nice and cozy in here. Which, you know, I don't mind. Um, you think there would be something in the library that would be affected by that? Uh, I cannot interact with the fire in any way, unfortunately. It just says the ammonia is making my eyes tear up. I'm just gonna check here, see if anything's changed in the in the library. Though I doubt it. not one of those two-sided fireplaces. Okay. Well, 
well, maybe I go upstairs. Maybe something's different upstairs. Oh, maybe we could... Oh, yeah. No, I can't throw anything in. Doesn't seem, anyway. Um, I guess I'll just check upstairs. Maybe something's different. He keeps gasping like randomly and it's genuinely not cool. Maybe go like, should I go above? Yeah, what room is above that one? Um. Oh my gosh, what's that? Was that there before? Wait, where is it going? Is it going in here? Or is it going over there? I hate this. Hate it. I hate it. I see handprints. Oh god. Whoa, something in there. Should I go the other way? <laughs> Try going the other way. I do indeed hate that. I don't see the stuff here, though. Look, case blocking the door. Oh, something's still happening in there. The heck? Voice, yeah, there's like... There's like the the weird like creature noises and then there's also like the sound of someone crying, maybe. Like a child or something, definitely. Yeah. Okay, I'm stressing. Oh god. The stuff is gone. Why is it like this? Why? <laughs> not coming to save you until it sounds perfectly safe. I mean, is that irrational though? Why oh, she's still crying? Bruh. Mm -mm. It's locked. Let a girl in. Have we been up here? Yes, we've been up here. This is like the place I need to get to, but I need to find all the... I think I need to find... Like, all the dolls and everything first. What am I missing? You know, um, the, I guess the key, the key is the only place I haven't figured out. So there's a key stuck in this. Um, yes. What? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I just combined the glue and the key. And I made a top half of a... Ugh. How 
Okay. <laughs> Smashing work, Sophie. I thought I tried everything. Here we are. Well, this is great. What's that? A metal hook? An expandable metal hook? Hooks are usually used to reach a distant handle. Oh no. What's that mean? Yo, Harry, welcome. <laughs> How are you doing? Like an attic? Yes. Dear Sebastian, everything is falling apart. I don't know what is happening to my telephone, but I can't seem to reach you, which is why I'm writing this. As I do, I pray that it is not too late. Sebastian, do not listen to the music box. I repeat, do not listen to that music box. Something is wrong with that melody. I hear it over and over in my head. While I walk, when I read, while I eat or sleep, even in my dreams. And these are getting worse and worse. Feel observed, Sebastian. At first it only happened in my dreams, but lately I also feel it while I'm awake. Although I find it increasingly hard to tell the difference these days. There's something here with me. A strange presence. In the halls, behind each door I turn my back to. I don't know what's happening to me. I am so sorry, my dear friend. I curse the day I sent you that box. Isaac Farber. Yikes. Piles of papers. I'd rather not sift through them. Is that all I found here? Really? Um... So... Do we know what I need to use the hook for? Was there something I couldn't quite reach? Um, is there like a, a latch or something? Hmm. What the heck? Do I know about an attic? Oh! Maybe I can use it to push the bookshelf. Wild idea. No. <laughs> Can't. Okay. Is that a bathroom? Shoot. Do I know about an attic or like a, a different kind of cellar? Hmm. I'm gonna look for an attic. You must find something. Or is there something outside that we could use it for? This looks like it's a dead end. 
And it is. Yeah, I don't even think we've seen an attic yet. Like any... I don't know about any other door. Ah, Mama! Uh. Run, run, run! Okay. Yo, we hiding. What'd you miss? Um, we got attacked again. <laughs> um, we figured out the fireplace. Um, that's over. Just horrific. Yeah, same, Sophia. So we figured out the fireplace. Um, it didn't seem to do anything, but then when we went upstairs, we saw this like black goo all over the walls, like heading or all along the floor, like heading towards one of the rooms. Um, and then we opened up. The, this door here, which was the one that had half of the key inside of it. So we figured that was just the glue and the ring combination thing. We got that open. Um, and we got another letter from Isaac Farber that said, don't listen to the music box. But I think everyone already did. Oh, and I found this. I found a... Um, a metal hook, an expandable metal hook, but I have no idea where that should go because I don't think I found any sort of attic type of room anywhere. So, wait a minute. Should I try to get into the room? in here like should i just like try <laughs> yeah i keep hearing noises in this room and some and like should i just like try did i make a mistake Yep. <laughs> um, I want to change Sophie's face. I'm sorry, but I do. <laughs> Masha! I think it was Masha. Oh my gosh. You're probably right. So... My only question, my, my, my theory, no, well, so my, my theory is that I'm supposed to be dying because, because I didn't choose the mode where, like, I get permadeath, but that doesn't make sense because I should be able to just, like, keep going. If, if I, I should be able, if I was, like, expert at this game, I should be able to, like, not ever die. So, they can't be right. I don't know what to do. I need to find that painting, but... Ow. <gasps> uh... I don't know the code. Uh, uh, what do I do? Oh, remote? Can I... Oh my god. Cut the power? How? The hell? What was that? Uh. 
Hello, Jagged. What did you miss? Um, <laughs> I fixed the fireplace clue. I fixed the the key clue with the broken key. Uh, the fire alarm or something alarm just went off and it just died on me. I didn't do anything to fix it, but somehow it worked. Um, what else? Ghosts don't like the alarms. Perimeter breach. Yeah. Big time. KGB. Oh, no. Wait, what is, what is that? Oh. But now I'm, I feel kind of stuck. I need to figure out what this, uh... I found a metal hook. I don't know what it's used for. So... There's that. Should we check the doors into the house since the alarm went off? Well, that's a good idea. You're thinking like a soldier. This door is unlocked. Nice and open. What other door? The garage and the side door? Metal hooks mean basement? Really? Well, we do know that the garage is wide open. Oh, can you see the blueprint again? Maybe we can get to the attic outside. It's a great idea. Oh! Oh! <gasps> Bruh. Wait, I think if we go out onto the balcony here, we might be able to... Freaking heck yeah. Good thinking. No! Stop it! Game! Jeez! I've got the uh. always just literally scares me so bad. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was almost the end of me. <laughs> Every time you make a suggestion, John, I'm just saying. <laughs> it's like you're in league with the monster. Ghost knows John is right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, there better not be any more jump scares. All I'm saying. <laughs> the doors of this house are made of titanium. Yeah, this house was built for whatever kind of ghost attacks. They were prepped. Okay, so if we go out here... Theoretically... There should be... Something... To grab... Onto? Um, 
This is the battery and the floodlight. I can't touch the floodlight in any way. What is that thingy up there? How do I get that? That sort of thing hanging down. Take a good look. There are signs of breakage here? What? If not outside, why the blueprint? Yeah, I think you're right, but... Metal hook. So, well, I was thinking... I thought I could use... the metal hook to pull down something, like a ladder or something, to help me get up to the attic? the blueprint here it says that scaffold goes there I think that's above me where I am now or is it the back am I on the wrong side of the house uh It looks like there's something hanging, but that might just be like a wind chime or something. Maybe lock door at the back. Uh, oh, you mean like, um, the backyard? Curious if I'm not at the wrong side. Uh, yeah, I opened the door at the very back. Um. Is there a place outside on the ground floor where you can see what's on the blueprint? I don't know. Probably? Wait, am I in the wrong place? Yes. <laughs> Stop it! What in the world? Game! <laughs> I swear. This game's not letting me relax. Not once. Not the grandfather clock. Wait, what's that? Can I do something here? Nope. The sound is the sound of, uh, a fan, I believe. I don't think I can see up the house very well. Like, I can see that, the side here. Blueprint again? So 
so here's the blueprint. Oh, you're right. It is the side of the house, isn't it? We're looking at the side. Oh, so do we need to find whoever's room? Did someone have a have a porch on their room outside? Access is only from first story. Well, right. Um, I'm I'm wondering if the if there's a side balcony like in someone's room. Because it looks like there's a balcony where the scaffold, the red thing was built on. Yeah, check it out. It just might be so. We'll find out. Side note, is there any wisdom in starting the boiler again? I have no idea. I'm... I'm not sure if the boiler, what the boiler does. Um, it's possible. Should we try starting it? Okay. We just gotta find whoever's room has a has a porch. Keep it on the back burner. Okay. Uh oh. She didn't want to go upstairs. <laughs> Please don't make me go upstairs. Um. Maybe this room here has a balcony. Maybe it's something that I, like, completely forgot about. She can look out the window, but she can't... She can't go on a balcony. Uh, I wonder if it's that room... The heck? What's out the window? Uh, she just, she says the neighborhood is quiet, deserted even. You think I should go back out to the balcony? Oh no, sorry, don't worry about it. We're all trying to figure this out. I see this book here? That golden bonfire. All right, I am at the balcony. So this is the front of the house? Yes, I think you're right. Uh, do you want to see the map or do you want to see the blueprint? This is the map. Oh, the back of the house, right. <laughs> Still legend. Legends only. <laughs> so we go to the room next to the playroom. Go to the room next to the playroom. Then next to study. 
Uh, I think I know. The room north of the playroom, like the one right above it. This one here. Okay. Check them out because there's nothing on the balcony. What? I have not been in here yet? From 1883 and 1790. Having such fine pieces strewn about the floor is quite rich, I suppose. Paint brushes. Yo, I haven't been in here. Huh. The marks on the floor must be related to that trap door. What trap door? The heck? How have I not been in here? Boink. Done. Although I'm not sure if I should be relieved, to be honest. Yo, here we go. <laughs> because too many doors. Okay, well, this seems perfectly safe, right? Oh God, why is there someone crying in here? Um, I think we got paintings and we got dolls up here. Should I go closer to her? Is she okay? Is she human? Is she... She doesn't look right. Should I just go about my day? Should I try to talk to her? I, I hate this. Hey, Julia, are you okay? Yo. What? What is this? She's fine. Usher's haikus, collectible item, a series of small poems written by Sebastian P. Usher. Nobody knows what inspired them. A crying friend. A parting gift, but only if they're themselves. A faceless figure, a room of smoke and death. It guards the door. A crying... okay. Oh my gosh. What? what? Where did you go? What? What's up with ghosts and poetry? An old easel. Could somebody from Husher Hauntold paint as a hobby? I'm unfamiliar with this painting. Sacred art with a macabre dark background. It's from 1811. And Chelly, perhaps? I think there's some scaffolding outside. I could reach it by climbing out one of these windows. Goodness grief! Well, I'll do that in a second. Let me just finish exploring. 1811, there we go. You think that's it? An old cot. If Daniel and I hadn't ended the way things we did. Perhaps... In the Darkness by Francis Keynes, painted in 1922. The first time I viewed this painting, I had nightmares afterwards. Yikes. Huh. 
You think you saw an oval-shaped painting? Oh, really? Oh, this one right here? Horrific. I remember this painting. The Power of Words by Marie Roguet. Maybe? <laughs> the date indicated is 14th July, 1798. I'll bet that's it, but I don't know. The reflection. It's a replica, though quite convincing. The original dates the original dates back to 1745 by an unknown artist. I'm afraid of heights. Should I go out this window? No. <laughs> nah, fam. When I go out the window, I'll take the scaffolding route. Okay, so should I go unlock the safe first? and then come back up here and go out the scaffolding? I think I'm gonna do that. Because I think we've got the stuff for the safe. So I might as well just do that before I give myself more puzzles to have to solve. I can't believe that I didn't open that door this whole time. Maybe it was locked, and then somehow it got unlocked. <laughs> Has the blueprint updated? Has not, no. But we do know that we can climb out the window and get on the scaffolding. Um, I just want to quickly open the safe, because I want to make sure that we've got that puzzle taken care of. Think I'm going the right way? Yes. Okay. It's not in the blueprint. We are facing north. That's how it works. Uh, the blueprint. It's. Like the side of the house, I think. So... The house... Yeah. We're looking at the... West side of the house, I think. Okay, so it's four. Seven. Yo. There's an odd doll inside the box. Green rag doll. A rag doll with glasses and two hair buns. She looks much like my favorite doll as a child. I love to read fairy tales with her. Oh, really? So she's in the library. <laughs> What was that even? Just the old radio? Blasted me? Bruh. There seemed to be a, a journal in the safe. But, um, or something, but it, it didn't let me do anything with it. Because I see nothing of any use here. So I'm assuming she's telling the truth. Okay, playroom and then scaffolding. Heck yeah. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like if like, do we have five dolls? I think that's our fourth doll. I 
feel like solving puzzles in like a spooky house would not be on my list of priorities if someone I knew was missing. <gasps> Bruh, did you see that? I legit saw someone running in the hallway. Shove him in the dollhouse. Uh, okay. Um. All right, she's reading. Mom doll we don't have. Well, yeah, well, it depends. If we have the right doll, let me see. If we have the right doll in the shower, So it's, um, one will be hungry, so her friend will make dinner. So we've got one in the dining room and one in the kitchen. Another one will read while her mom takes a shower. So we have one in the library and we have one in the bath. Then we have the ugly one will watch the door so nobody comes in. So we either don't have the mom who needs to take the shower, or we don't have the ugly, or we don't have the ugly one to watch the door. I thought the dirty one should take the shower, but maybe... Maybe we'll find the mom toy um, to either sit in the bed or sit on the couch, wherever the door is. I don't know where the door is. You think ugly goes in the bed? It's possible. We just need one more doll, right? We need one more? All right, let's go to the spooky attic. Yay. Because watching the door, only, only two room at the bath, right. I hope this is right, what I'm doing here. I thought this was the door at the scaffolding. Oh. It's a good thing I'm not wearing high heels. Okay. House building materials. What? What's over here? That looks like bad if I go over there. This location was made for you? What do you mean? What am I doing? I'm going down. Interesting. Oh, falling. <laughs> Blueprint? Oh, so we were up in the attic, and now we're going down to a side room. I see... Yeah. All right. Telescope? Must be nice to watch the starry sky from this balcony. What was that? Is that a cat? Hello? Ooh. Anybody there? Maybe don't announce to the ghosts where you are, lady. The table is just the right size to hide beneath. I don't get it. I just, I just don't get any of this. Notes and souvenirs from a trip, I believe from a honeymoon. There are some beautiful exotic things in here. Wrinkled piece of paper. Husher's wife wrote something on it. Please come back. We can't leave the house. Yikes. The master bed is covered in dust like the rest of the house. Have they gone away? Now we ask if anyone's here, right? The hell? Earthquake? 
the heck? I couldn't even leave. Heck, no. <gasps> a blue rag doll wearing a hat. I think somebody sewed the shower cap onto her after she was first made. Yay, it's a shower cap. Nice. Mira is fogged up in a curious way, almost as if it had been made like that. <gasps> oh my god. I'm in the room that I couldn't get into. That's why we don't ask who's here. Yeah, for real. Family albums as well as a box full of photos under the night scan. Nightstand, the cherished memories of a lifetime. Oh boy, here's a new room I haven't been in yet. Sounds perfectly safe. Nice little bathroom. Yes. Okay. Sebastian, I received the box again. I can't even stand to look at it, but still I hear its music. After returning it to me, has anything changed? Do you feel better? If so, maybe I should do the same, don't you think? I should try to find the previous owner if that's even possible. Have you discovered anything? Please do tell me. I can't sleep or stay awake. I feel a presence. There is something here with me. Oh boy. So it sounds like Sebastian returned the box, hoping that it would work. But, um... Who knows if it did? Hoping that that would uh, relieve the curse rather. Well, let's get on over to the playroom, I guess. Oh boy. I'm scared about what I might find here. It's symbolic. Mirrors are considered as the portals for ghosts in all the folklores around the world. Ooh. Okay, so, um... So I need to make a switcherino here. So... This chick goes in the library. Mama goes in the shower. The friend goes in the kitchen. Hungry girl goes in the dining room. Okay. Um, so I got it wrong. I think the ugly one needs to go in the lower left on the blue couch. <gasps> oh! A key? Huh. A heavy metal key. It was hidden in the dollhouse. What is this key for? It seems out of place, even for this house. Um, do we have a locked door? Somewhere? Because... Did I see the ferris wheel? Where? Oh no, I didn't. Was it turning? Bruh. No thank you. None of that. <laughs> oh, when my heart was beating. I was wondering if like... 
Oh, the Ferris wheel over here? I was wondering if, like, my heart would start beating every time, like, something crazy happened, you know? Um, like, if something I hadn't even seen was, like, going on on the screen. So, wait, I have a key. Do we, we know where my key should go? <gasps> wait. I should check this room back here, huh? Where, um, where we died. <laughs> garage? Do we have something in the garage? At the stuck key. Oh, we, we did fix the stuck key. We did get that one. If it looks out of place, it could mean it doesn't go to a door. Oh, snap. Okay, so ghosts are still popping in there. Let's not do that. Was there something... A locked thing? Yeah, not, I'm not going in there again. That's a big old nope. <laughs> a big nope, nope, nope. We're not doing it. What was in there? Room next to the study. Oh, like, um, yeah, the, um, see the note again? Which note? Oh. Why the kid hide it? Smart. So, my mummy was very angry and kept yelling at Julia, the door is scary. I will hide the key in the dollhouse, and I will hide the five dolls too, even if they get mad at me, and I will bring them out when Mummy and Julia forget about the door. Ah. I was walking by the dining room, and I heard the music from the music box. When I went in, I saw the door. Should I go to the dining room? The spooky door is where Daniel got lost, yes. So, I'm just gonna try the dining room. Although, honestly, now Sophie get lost. Yeah, it's like, Daniel didn't need to find a key to a door to get lost. But Sophie has to freaking get, find a key to get lost? Don't know about this. More broken. <gasps> what the heck is that? My God, what is that thing? Um, am I really having to go towards it right now? What the heck? Hello? I am speechless. A folded piece of paper. It mysteriously appeared in the husher. Aid us, save us, we are doomed? Excuse me? Um... Every suggestion became spooky, it's true! Um... Okay. Oh no, I didn't listen at the door! I didn't listen at the door! I forgot to listen at the door! I just opened it! My bad. My freaking bad. Now Sophie's really lost! No, I changed her fate. Okay, I think it's gonna have to do the jump scare again. Ah! Sorry, I'm sorry. 
My God, what is this? Now we're just super brave. Aid us, save us, we are doomed. Yes, yes, yes. It's like we never left. So there's definitely creatures there. Do you think if the permadeath was on, we'd just get a new character, collect the items from where the old character died, and then we could just continue on? <laughs> um, I think... But I'm um, also... I don't know. I, I don't know. You don't think I have to start the game completely over? What the heck? I think you'd have to start it over because that might be part of the thing because it wouldn't really make sense to have permadeath um, and to keep all your information. Uh, Jagged, the blinking question mark is um, is where I if I reach into the bathtub, then it then I die. So that's why that's still there. Um, I think that's just a, a location where I could potentially die. I'm not sure if it's... It might turn into something else, but I will certainly die. Bathtub was downstairs. Um, okay. When did it... It started blinking after I found it. Um, can I open any bathroom pipes? Oh. I don't know. Why doesn't the door blink on the map? I don't know. I, I think the... I mean, there might be a way for me to interact with the bath now that I've done some things. But I'm pretty sure... Uh, that it's just... Jeez! <gasps> I'm pretty sure that the bathtub is is a is just a death trap, but I'll I'll go check it out. Ooh, maybe boiler can heat the bathtub and the tub become clear. Interesting. Suggest a spooky again. <laughs> Let me see what the bathtub looks like. It's still death trappy. Boy bathtub. Okay. Let's try the boiler. We'll turn on the boiler and then maybe it'll do something to the to the water. You have to say, it's super fun working out puzzles in a group like this. It really is! There's so many great ideas. Okay, boiler functioning. Shut down, press the left. Start, press the central button. Emptying, press the right button. Should I try to... Would, would emptying work out? I like you guys. Oh, I like you guys too! Yeah, it's been super fun doing this. Not gonna lie. Should I try emptying? Oh, I can't interact with the boiler anymore. It says better leave the boiler alone. That's lame. Yeah, I can't. I can't interact with it anymore. Dang it.
call the devs, tell them John's idea was better than their game. Um, hello devs? Are you upset with you? Okay, so. So, so, so. I have an idea. Now that I've went down to the dining room, I'm wondering if I go back upstairs towards where, um, where those two people were like crying and they killed me. I wonder if they've moved on now because I've put the dolls in the right place. Does that make any sense? Just because of the letter that the kids wrote? If like, if they've moved and they now they're focusing like, I think we're just looking for spooky door. Yeah. Dang it. There's still noise in here. Never mind. Hmm. I mean, the key is either for the spooky door. I mean... It could have just appeared anywhere. That's true. It could be anywhere, right? But I think there's something... Um, there's something... Um, specific about the dining room because A, Daniel disappeared in that room behind the dining room. And when we went down to the dining room, there was that guy sitting there with the note on his back. You know? So I'm thinking... I gotta do something... Any switch at the spooky door? I don't know. I haven't even seen the spooky door. I don't know. Let me see if I go back in here again. Okay, creepy guy is still here. Really weird. Jeez! Oh god. I don't know where to hide. Oh. Over there! The hiding place! Okay. Okay. I like how I think I'm safe under the dining room table. I mean, all this guy's like, what? God. First time? That was almost the end of me. What's in our inventory? We just have the spooky key and the haikus. And I don't know what to do with the haikus. It just says collectible item, so. Faceless figure, a room, a room of smoke and death that guards the door. Is she wearing a Cthulhu amulet? I don't know, is she? Oh my gosh! Hey! Just trying to listen at the door. Spooky thing is still in there, so... Yeah. I gotta figure out... what to do next. I just have that key. And I can't... I don't remember any places where there I could use a key. Maybe... Throw the wicker man into the fireplace. Now that would be something. What if I just started playing, like, modern music? <laughs> just to offend the ghost. 
think the key is for the spooky door. Yeah. Oh. What did I just do that for? Why did I do that? Why would I play the piano? You still here? Yep. Okay. I don't know what to do. Long fingered ghost man. That is the door that killed me. Yes. <laughs> do you think I should try just to open it? Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was like, I think it's gonna kill me. Hmm. Was there something in the kitchen I needed to do? Make some tea? So there's more than one. Oh, hey! Oh my gosh! I finished the dolls, and there's these things that are appearing in all of the rooms where the dolls were. Right? Mm -hmm. Ada, save us, we are doomed. Bound and slave to its desire. Um, where else was there? Kitchen, dining room. Uh... Oh, the, the front room, like, um... Um, find all, and then we'll get the spooky door. One in the library, right? How do I get to the library? Okay, this way. Nice. Bathroom, yes. Uh oh. I don't see one in here. Hmm. Front? Wasn't there one in, in the library? Oh wait, do they need to be in order? Hungry, so her friend will make dinner for her. So we found the dinner and the kitchen. Another one will- well, another one will read while her mom takes a shower? Maybe we check the- like, the upstairs bathroom, maybe? Unless she's in here, and I missed it, <laughs> but I don't think she was in here. Okay. Um... Uh, upstairs, like, bathroom. Okay. Where is the bathroom? This one here? <laughs> oh, God! Okay, we hiding. We running. We zoom in. Oh my gosh. It literally scares me every single time. Yo. 
check out that necklace. Oh, yeah. I just barely made it. <gasps> There's one right in front of me. Hello. Aid us, save us. We are doomed. Bound and slave to its desire. Help us make it. Pull us through. This one is reading. What's this room called on the map? Study. Nice. Okay. Although the other one was called library, so... I don't know. Um... So let's check a bathroom upstairs. I think it's this one down here. Ugly one, watch the door. Right. Why are there candles on in here? Were there candles before? Why is my heart beating so fast? Why? What is going on in here? This bathroom is scary. I don't think it's this bathroom. Not a fan. Um, is it the bathroom in the master bathroom? Probably. I mean, bath bathroom in the master bedroom is what I meant to say. Because the mom takes a bath in the master bath. It was off the bedroom in the dollhouse. <gasps> what the heck? Was that a bird? What the? Bird. Probably died. Why? No reason for that. My god. Okay. In the bathroom. Oh, hey. What's up? Okay. <laughs> Toss the dark one in the fire. Looks like we are tossing Wicker Man into the fire. Okay. Where's the last one? So we've done... We've done... Dining room... Dining. Dining, kitchen, study. Wasn't it... But it wasn't in the bedroom. It was in the, um... It was watching the door. Like, out in the... Remember we had to fix it? Ugly one. I feel like I've seen enough enough ugly things. I don't want to have to look for the ugly one. Didn't we find it, though, in the room with the deer head? <laughs> Dinning. It is so dim here. Um, I don't... I don't know, guarding the door? Oh, you mean by the fireplace? I don't think we found one by the fireplace. Eh, stop it. Door at the front. Attic, you think the attic? I literally just got chills. Is it just me or like candles turning on everywhere? That's kind of freaking me out. I think one's in the attic? 
because it has the sofa. Oh. Watching the door. Uh. Wait. So I checked the door at the front. It's not there. I checked the living room. It's not there. Um, you think it might be in the attic because the attic had a sofa? Um, how do I get to the attic again? You think it should be on the first floor since the doll was on the first floor. Should I check that door? I bet I need to check that door. At the room by the dinner, by the... <laughs> I bet this, I bet it's here. Nope, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. The creature's still in there. At the room besides the front door. Okay, I'll check that one. This one here, maybe? The freaking bathroom. No one in here. The laundry tub? I don't want to go to the laundry tub. It's a bad place. But we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll go to the laundry tub. Mm, nope. Not there. <laughs> Where else was there like a... Watching the door. I feel like... I think I should check attic it is? Okay, okay, check the attic. I need to remember how to how to get to the attic. <laughs> Go up. So useful. I think it's it was this door at the end that I never freaking opened. Nailed it. The skinny room. Yeah. All right. Hmm. Mr. Spookman. Um... I do not see him. I do not see the spook. If it isn't here, maybe we should take a look at the dollhouse and see what's in the room. Okay. What the flip? Go out the window? Okay. Oh, I can't. It's very quiet out there. Too quiet. I have to- I have to travel indoors now, I guess. Joy. Um, okay, I'll go to the dollhouse and I'll see... See where the doll- where the doll is. Yeah, okay. Play. 
playroom. <gasps> what? Something bizarre is going on with that horrid doll. I'm taking it with me? What does that mean? Throw the doll into the fire! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. I mean... I could... He is covered in poop. <laughs> What? Stop it. Turn around. Nope. Good. <laughs> the doll was the ugly one. And it was the gross one. So it's either I give it a bath, or I just burn it. But to be perfectly honest, this is not going to smell very good. Here we go. Get burned, boy. The fire was definitely the best place for that hideous thing. I'm of the opinion there's no better place to put that horrid doll than in the middle of the flames. Okay. I'm, uh... I would like to know. Yeah, so spook door? Where are you? Oh, our buddies are gone. I can go in here now. Oh boy. Dolls are possessed. The dolls brought this wrath on the house. It's true. But what on earth is that door doing there? Oh boy. Well? Uh-uh. Leave it. But the key can unlock it. And don't I have to find Daniel? We divorced Daniel for good reasons. <laughs> I mean, this is really the best outcome, right? <laughs> Let's just get out of here, GG. Oh, man. It's like, if I could leave, if I could actually leave, I would do it. But maybe I'm getting paid. Maybe that, maybe that's like a $50,000 reward to find Daniel. What was, what was what folder for? Start the motorcycle and leave. You don't remember how Daniel lives? <laughs> his, his apartment? I remember. Uh, the folder in my inventory? Is that the one you're talking about? Or something back in here? Oh, I can't. I can't go out. I have to go down. The only option. The one in my inventory is um, is a stack of haikus I found, and it says it's just a collectible, so I'm assuming that's all it is. Shit, what did I get myself into? Um... I mean, Home Slice, you could have, like, left at any time. What in the world is this place? What are all those writings? And why that horrid, damp smell? Sometimes... I just... feel... I just feel like... people don't... they're not... oh my god. Oh my god.
the heck? What is this place? Oh my god, Daniel! Um... Help! No, who's gonna Someone hear you? Help us, please! Who's gonna hear you down there? Way too late to regret. They finally found me. Oh. I was feverish, dehydrated, terrified. But alive. I don't remember much about the ride to the hospital, but I did mumble a few questions about the music box. I had heard it. The endless grim song it played wouldn't stop hammering in my brain. I would even swear. Table on the other side of the the mirror. No, no, impossible. There was no box. It was just a hallucination, a mirage. I needed to rest. That was all. Just rest. Uh, no thanks. That's what happens when you dab into Ouija boards and tarot cards. <laughs> I hope he's learned his lesson. Hey! And that's the end of episode one. We did it! <laughs> we found Daniel. GG's.